Okay. Oh, Shante is, is coming to uh, Runbo? I feel like I got that done. Oh, well, we live now. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, hey, people. Yes. Yeah, Hello, when, when James here, I'm like... <laughs> Let me let me check uh, WayForward's website. I'm like, oh, Shante, Runbo. Yeah, man. I, I, you you asked for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Want to give us some details about that, actually? Because I was like surprised Shante wasn't in Runbo to begin with. Yeah. It, it, we probably should have got on that sooner. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. So I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Hello. Uh, All right. Oh, we're on air. Yes, we're already on a. Jeez, man. <laughs> we live, boys. Oh, we live. Yeah, well, we... screw it. We'll do it live. Yeah. We're... <laughs> we're about to call in Pat Cashman. We're all like, screw Xander. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. He's prettier than I am. <laughs> Which is very important when you're doing a voice stream. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, yep. I. <laughs> up, y'all? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm designer and assistant director on Shanting and the Pirates Curse, yep. Hey everybody, I'm uh, article lead. Been there since close to day one. Not not really, I think. Uh, but I think I was number two, wasn't I? Just uh, there, push. Okay, number three. Good enough. <laughs> Aha, I'm here. You haven't got rid of me yet. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm a I'm a contributor. Um, been I've been here for quite a while. I think I'm like a, like a senior contributor, but there's no real title for that, so. It's something I like to tell myself when I go to sleep, but it doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> Makes the pain go away. Yep, hello. It's been on the video team lead, and it's been a year since I joined. Like a year and, what, three days? Something like that. So, it's been pretty good. I think I probably joined on the first year anniversary, actually, now, <laughs> thinking about that. <laughs> so, it's good to still be around. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, um, I'm the feature content um, contributor. Um, I usually just write um, content stealing others' content, but you know, I mean, at least we don't run ads, so we're not taking yes! long period of profit. Hey, 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 hey! We don't we don't steal content. We repurpose the content of others. <laughs> exactly. In, in order exactly. to reach a larger larger audience. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I usually do that. I've been here for about six months, so I've written like three actual articles and tons of featured content, repurposing it, as bad as you put it. So, yeah. yeah. I, I just realized I had my mic muted. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> um, yes! 10 out of 10 hosting push. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> then we have uh, Soma, who is the basically the main translator of Source Game in. If he's here. <laughs> is he disappeared? Maybe he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, um, so, oh, and uh, Ash Paulson just joined the call, so please welcome to Ash yes, Paulson. Yes, I, thank you. I just barely made it on time, but uh, thank you guys for inviting me again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate having you, James, and also Xander on the call. 
Yeah, yeah no it's problem. And I haven't written a single article for you guys, but uh, we're friends, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all that counts. Yeah. Uh, so we got, what, ten minutes until the tournament starts? We got two minutes okay. until the tournament two starts. Oh, uh, two oh minutes. boy. <laughs> right now, then. Yeah. So um, if you guys haven't joined the tournament, um, please look at the code and the password. Wait. Okay. What, what what's going on? Um, um, I was, <laughs> there's a Smash for Wii tournament on um, on the live stream. Oh, yeah. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> was, I supposed to have, was I supposed to have a Wii U for this? No, no, it's okay. Don't no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. You don't we're, need we're to worry not... about it. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm sorry. That's, that's mostly for the fans or for whoever wants to. So. Yeah. You alone yeah. ruined sort. Ruin Source Gaming's birthday. You just completely <laughs> ruined the party. I, mean, I, mean, um, I told you. I told you we got with Cashman. Well, I'm having a wonderful time, so. <laughs> well, let me put Ash Bolson on. Alright. Okay, so, so actually we have like 13 seconds now. Yes! Good thing so, I, I registered before, or else I don't think I would get in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I'm gonna mute my microphone and uh, some other people's mics, so that way you guys can yep. talk. Do that. I'm gonna go and join the tournament, so I will be back <laughs> a bit later. All right, I'm joining it as we speak. I'm gonna attempt to join the tournament. Stay here and not do the tournament, and you know, keep people company. <laughs> yes. I'll <laughs> join you. <yeah. laughs> does it? Do you guys prefer? Does it work better for you whether I play in the tournament or not? I'm down either way. Um, it's it's fine. Go ahead and okay. play. All right. Yeah. I'll use this as an opportunity to do a uh, a pseudo interview, if you will, for Xander. Right. Time yeah. to get some popcorn. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did, we just did the Dean Harrington interview, so um, and that was I, that was pretty fantastic. I heard about that. That sounded awesome. Yeah, it was it was interesting because he's such uh, an old school guy. And I'm like, oh. and I, I kind of brought up that I'm like, I feel like you, Xander, are, are the first one of the announcers that kind of grew up, not only with gaming but kind of with Smash Brothers. And I, I could tell, I, I mean, I, I don't have any confirmation because I never spoke to you about it, but I felt like your inflection mm -hmm. on certain things were were actually taken from it. And I, an example I brought up was um, the way you say Roy for the Fire Emblem character is different from Roy Koopa. And I felt like you took that from kind of the way Dean did it in Melee. You were kind of aping that because that's how Roy was said there. Could well, be wrong. Yes, yes. I, uh, I secluded myself in a hotel room <laughs> for about a month in preparation for the role. And I did nothing but live the smash life, as it were. Um, yeah, I, I grew up mostly on the... Uh, uh, 64, Smash 64, um, which is a game I have very mixed feelings about because it's a wonderful game, uh, but my brother, my older brother has this sort of thing with fighting games where he's like, he gets the game, he would buy the game, and then he would play it a lot, and then he'd want me to play with him, but he wouldn't let me play it beforehand, so I had no idea what I was doing. And he was yeah. like, no, this is the best way to learn. You learn by getting your ass kicked. That's older brother privilege. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I still have nightmares about that. But yeah, because of that, I, I definitely was familiar with the franchise. I played, uh, I think I got Melee for Christmas when I was, I want to say 10 or 11. It might have been later than that. I'm I am old. My memory's going. Um... Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I was a freshman in college when I got Melee, so... <laughs> oh, there you go. I was in middle school. Wait, was I in middle school? I don't right. remember. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, so... Yeah, there was definitely some influence from the previous announcers. Uh, I was so bummed they wouldn't let me say it. He caught you! <laughs> <laughs> well, well what, was, what was kind of amazing was uh, speaking with Dean was, you know, he's like, so... I, it was 1985 in Hong Kong, and I was doing this martial arts movie with Jet Li, and I'm like, go on. <laughs> and he's like, 
Like, because that's what he really wanted to talk about. I mean, you know, not that he didn't enjoy the voice work and everything, but I mean, that's clearly, you know, what his, his, his passion was, and it was super interesting. But he's all like, so I was doing voice work, and they just got in a booth, and he's like, and I'm like, so, I mean, did you know of, of, the, of any game characters besides, like, Mario and Donkey Kong? He's like, I had no idea what Mario or Donkey Kong were. He had no idea. He went in carte blanche to do a job. Yeah. Like, can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I get where he's coming from. Like, there's just so... Nowadays, I think it's definitely more of a problem, but there's just so much content out there, and there's a lot of the time where you'll get, like, an audition or something. This is from a long-running franchise. Uh, do something for it. And you, you do want to be respectful of what came before, and uh, but there's just no way to keep up with everything. So inevitably, you're going to... That, that does happen, yeah. Um... But with Smash, no, I, I had a pretty good familiarity with it. But yes, I can definitely imagine going in and being like, "Uh huh, okay, right." So, yeah. So, it, so it's a big monkey, but his name's Donkey. <laughs> I got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that was pretty much exactly what it was like. <laughs> oh man, yeah. It was. I, I don't know. It, it's it's interesting. It's interesting how I, I mean, video games. As as a as a medium has have evolved, and that was another thing he brought up too, because he'd done voice work on Resident Evil, and he was saying, yeah, me and the other guys, because it was you know a, a closer network of, of voice actor talent that started doing that at the time. We're like, when they started making the Hollywood movies for Resident Evil, we're like, oh man, maybe these video game things are gonna stick around for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a what a different time. Yeah, man. Interesting. Yeah, when's the when's the Smash movie coming out? When are we getting that? What um, a Smash anime movie! Oh <laughs> uh, no, I want like full live action, live action CG with like Scarlett Johansson as oh, Zelda. What, what you don't, what you want though, is you don't you don't want them to DC universe it, man. You need you need to do it like Marvel. You need to have the Nintendo Cinematic Universe culminating in Smash Brothers. You need to build it. You need to earn it. That means by the time we get a Smash Brothers movie, we'll all be in the grave. <laughs> <laughs> we would be so old by that point. Yeah, but we'll be so old that we'll have nothing better to do than to watch a Smash Brothers movie. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. In between the bingo games and getting our diapers changed, we can sit around and watch <laughs> Smash Brothers the movie. Uh, did they like? I guess when you were recording, um, did they give you any specific information about uh, characters you weren't familiar with, or in order to? Because I mean, I guess if it's just a name, it's a name. Is, is there any any background on it that they provide you? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I was pretty familiar with most of the characters going in, um, but for the ones I wasn't sure, you try to give every name its own flavor. Like they didn't. It was kind of strange because they wanted everything to sound equally enthusiastic. They didn't want there to be like that that character that you pick it and the announcer's just like the hell's wrong with you. You villager. You know, like they didn't want that. But you still want to give you want to acknowledge the personality as best you can in the name and obviously there's very limited things you can do, but if you can make Ganondorf sound big and scary and intimidating that's what you want to do. If you can make Mario sound like he's just having a blast. Uh, a lot of people bring up Greninja, and it's like, were you trying to seduce the frog? Um, <laughs> obviously the answer is yes. With that tongue, I mean. Yeah, he can do miracles. Uh, but the idea there was he's like, he's a ninja, so he's kind of give him like an air of mystery and coolness to him. That was the idea. Also, you know, if I got his number, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> well, okay, so that's for characters, but what about when they tell you game modes? Because it's a little more nebulous. They like Smash Tour. did not tell me... Um, I think it kept very secretive. Like, if... Looks and be looking. So, yeah. Which is code for you weren't supposed to ask that. Uh, um, and I. Uh, was no, the I was going to say, it first, sounds like, like a video game I did. 
you, you, seem, you seem to be trying on your robotic voice. Yeah, your uh, your mic was messing up. I don't know if it was just oh, uh, I see my reception turning. of it or not. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh shit! No, it's it's probably my internet. My internet's been garbage the last few days. Uh, All right. A little bit. Seduce the frog. Love it. <laughs> I just love how that's the only thing that appears in the chat. <laughs> Seduce the frog. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that sounds but, uh, like a great indie game. Seduce it the does, actually. Get, get on that, James. <laughs> <laughs> Coming right up. I want to seduce the frog. I'm trying to figure out how seduce the frog would work. I mean, like, because it, it brings I to mind, to like... <laughs> <laughs> It brings to mind, like, you know, those old Flash games, but I, I feel like we can come up with something better. I mean, there's... What, how would Seduce the Frog play? I, I mean, is it like a dating sim, or is it... Do you have to feed the frog? Hmm. Sit it down, buy it dinner, and you know, turn on the charm. That's the... <laughs> I should I wonder, not have stopped using Mega Man. <laughs> who's who's actually alive right now? Oh wait. Uh, oh, it looks like uh, we have. I have no idea who's playing. Well, I can tell you that. Much. Oh. I'm, not uh -oh. I'm not playing. Uh -oh. right, I'm alive? playing right now, but I don't know yeah, who's. Are you, uh, are, on the oh, your your cloud. I'm cloud. Yeah. Yeah. You. yeah, you're on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just, uh, you just smashed Kenneth up. Nice. Hey, it's Kenneth. Yes! Yeah, I'm, I'm paying Good for it because I played my last two matches of Mega Man and I won, but now I'm not doing so hot. So you Every, get, so everyone you get cheating your way through Cloud. Yeah, everyone has a problem <laughs> That's true, I guess. Pocket. I just everyone enjoy using him, but there we go. See, everyone has a Cloud in their pocket. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah, I call him my, my secondary, and I guess he is, but that, you know, everyone's good with Cloud, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Best being out of though, so. That's true. Well, That's and true. I'm a Mega Man main, so I get to, you know, I have that claim to fame. No one plays Mega Man, so. Well, exactly. actually, I, I, I think in the in the meta now, Mega Man's supposedly <sighs> moving up in the ranks pretty high. He now is, yeah, because it has really strong yes! performance in various tournaments, especially EVO. Like, yeah, Luffy's Mega Man was so inspirational, and I got to be there in person to see it live and see him eliminate Zero, and it was so amazing. Yeah, it's it's cool. Like, uh, there's a lot of uh, yes item tech with the saw blade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, like Mega Man has so many weird little tricks, and like I'm I can do a few of them. Um, I'm just a really hyper aggressive Mega Man, which a lot of people aren't used to, so they they don't really know how to deal with it at first. Um, and then once they kind of figure out my tricks, it gets a little easier, but. Uh, I'm not su. I'm not. I don't know all the crazy technical tricks like Kamushi and Scat do. Yeah, I, Mega Man's actually my secondary. I play as Ness and Mega Man. I just whatever characters oh, nice. have a large head, really. <laughs> well, Kirby's just a head, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he did, I don't think it counts unless it's because uh, it's a proportion to the body, right? <laughs> okay, that's the rule. Right, like if if you play Kirby and you want to keep similar, you can play. Jigglypuff or Pac-Man. I think that's, right. that's how it is. So, and that's actually, isn't Pac-Man your secondary and uh, Kirby your main? Correct. <laughs> Although these works. days I've been using uh, Zero Suit Samus a bit more. Ah, oh, not another one. Another <laughs> Zero Suit Samus I have to deal with now. I know, right? I'm looking forward to playing, playing against Zero, Zero Suit then. I just picked her because she's hot. <laughs> fair enough, that's a fair reason. That's the mo most man-like answer I've like ever heard. <laughs> Very typical. So I went back into another match, but uh, no one has joined yet. Oddly enough, it's like the whole tournament suddenly went silent. Maybe because you're playing Cloud. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, I, I switched back to Mega Man for precisely that reason. Oh. And also no, because I lost. There we go. Okay. There's some people. Okay. But, see, for me, I mean Cloud. My secondary is uh, Ryu. And even though people will say all oh, my tier horror. Uh, just to justify my use of them, I played them before they started rising in the tier ranks, so I ha at least have that excuse to go by. 
I don't know. I mean, Cloud, to be fair, kind of started at the top of the tier list. He never really rose yeah. to the ranks. He kind of started there. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, his limit break pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Ryu, though, he's really tough to use. What, yeah, what I think... me about Cloud, I mean, about Cloud in particular is that when the game was made, clearly, like, I like to play his Shulk a lot. I can't be a Shulk main because I'm not as good. I'm not good enough at Smash Brothers to be a Shulk main. Love, love playing a Shulk though. Oh yeah, he's fun. But, yeah, but like because yeah. of his reach and his buff mechanics, they gave him like garbage frame data, and then they they made Cloud who has reach that's almost as good and amazing frame data and also a buff mechanic. And I'm like, that's that's not fair. That's <laughs> not fair. No, no one will beat the range of Marth though. No one in melee. No one will re like, beat the reach of Martha and Melee. Like, no Mark one is will. pretty ridiculous. Like, he is actually. Yeah. 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 Corrin has the best front smash of any, a forward smash of any character in any smash, like, in my opinion. It's really good. Yeah, especially because it has that startup damage, the chainsaw. Yeah, and there's really very little in lag, too. Oh, man, I'm looking at all of the, uh, the chat now. Hmm. What is Metroid? Metroid oh. was a male cyborg. Metroid can't crawl. We got some good stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You know what? I'm I'm not even sure. Is this be this should be overlaid on top of the stream, right? For people that are watching. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. There we go. I, I had it. Wow, this Ganondorf player really wants a piece of me. I don't know why. <laughs> like, what did I do to you? I haven't <laughs> killed you or anything. You are not on this uh, on the stream at the moment, so you can uh, just pretend you're winning. Just tell us. Just tell us nice, how you're, nice. you're owning him. <laughs> I mean, I'm not losing yet, but he's just really only going after me. I'm trying to figure out why. Like, what's your beef? Now he killed me. Okay. Maybe he really hates Game Explain. <laughs> that could be it. He's like anti Game Explain. Maybe he just really hates Mega Man. Super fighting robot. Yeah. Uh, Smash Chew. And I have been having like ridiculous, and he wants to do like a settle and smash video or some articles or something. Just ridiculous back and forth because he really does not think that Mega Man will be in the next Smash game. And I'm like, you're, you're crazy, dude. I mean, I hope crazy. you're, you know, I hope you're right, but I don't think it's a, a foregone conclusion that he will be. I mean, he was essentially the Sonic of this game, though. He was the most re the most requested third party character that got in. No, and you're totally I, right. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like he's ju he's more emblematic em emblematic of like the Nintendo Entertainment System than like Samus or Pit. <laughs> I mean, you know? personally, I agree with you. I just I don't know if other people are going to see it that way. Like, I don't know. You know, Mega Man. Unfortunately, Sonic remains relevant, and I love Sonic, and that's great. Mega Man, you know, the more years pass without him getting a new game, I, the less relevant I, he becomes. You, re you realize we have that sound clip now. Ash, uh, Ash from Game Explain. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Sonic remains relevant. <laughs> uh, well, out of context, you, you have to at least uh, include the part after where I said, I love Sonic, but... <laughs> That's not true. I just need to cherry pick that comment <laughs> and make it the headline of something. Well, it, it at least been uh, linked to our latest Game Explain Real Talk, where I actually, we have a whole segment where Derek and I deconstruct what IGN recently said about Sonic, and kind of just talk about how it really shouldn't be offending as many people as it did. Just because, you know, if you like Sonic, like Sonic. Don't let what any game journalists say kind of kill your love for something. Yeah, Sonic is, is so unique in that it's, I don't know, it, it, it's, it, it's one of those things, it's its, it's, its own brand now. It doesn't even yeah. have to. It doesn't have to make good games. <laughs> well, and the thing is, though, that they do, and that's kind of like what I think the point is. I feel so many people unfairly kind of hand wave away all of Sonic's actually great games, and they just say, "Well, Sonic was never good." And I'm like, "That's ridiculous. That's like ridiculous. that is actually yeah. ridiculous that you would say." And that's what IGN's argument was. Like, let's be honest, Sega's chasing ghosts because even the original Sonic games weren't very good. And I'm like, "What?" Like, to be, that's to be no. fair, I think Mega Man and Mario have both had just as many, if not more, kind of off games, so... I think that's fair, especially Mega Man. Like, Mario probably has had the fewest off Mario, games of three. As far as mainline Mario games, I don't think you could really say there's anything off. I yeah. mean, the, the new games are formulaic. Uh, Mario Sunshine didn't have a very good reception when it first came out, but it's gotten better over the years. Well, to me, uh, Sunshine kind of seemed kind of rushed to me in a sense. Like, some of the areas didn't really seem that polished, or it just, like, I don't know. It seemed relatively, like, oh, we're, you know, time constraints, you know, tons of them. I mean, if you dig into the a, code, go ahead. 
No, no, I was just going to say, it was, it was also kind of just a weird follow-up to 64. I feel like every Mario game before that um, didn't have such a heavy emphasis on a particular style or yeah. gimmick or yeah. kind of area of play. You always had a million different yeah. levels. You had, you had your giant land and your fire land and your Whoa. Mario inside a giant mechanical Mario. <laughs> I mean, Super Mario Sunshine is kind of like the Super Mario Bros. 2 of the 3D Mario series. If you think about it, you know, you had the first one which came out, you know, and was widely acclaimed, and then the second one was like a quick change of pace from the first one, and a lot of people were like, okay, why is this different? And then the third one came out, and it went back to the original formula, which made people question. You know, it was, it was kind of, they're both similar in that way. Yeah, and you know, you know, it's kind of funny too. The reception for Sunshine with general gamers is a lot better now too. Mm -hmm. uh, I can 100% say this because <clears throat> gamers that are in their mid to late 20s and 30s don't have as big of a voice as younger gamers. Those gamers actually played it when they were children. <laughs> so right. it has heavy nostalgia. Because that came out when I was like a freshman in college, and I'm all like, this is uh, whatever. I'm going to go play something else. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, I've, I've gone through and I've played it. It's, not a, it's definitely not a bad game, but no. it, it is kind of... If you have to point out the weakest 3D Mario, I, I think most people would probably point at Sunshine. Yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, I, I do think it's kind of unfairly underrated. I don't hate Sunshine like some pe other people seem to. I mean, even our own Andre Games Plane, he loves that game. And I, I thought it was fun. I, I like the fact that it's actually challenging. Like, you know, Mario 64 and Galaxy and Galaxy 2 really, like, they don't really turn on the challenge like Sunshine does. And I, I like that Sunshine really is okay with being difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt the flow, but I just want to check to see if you guys can hear me again, if, if like, my internet's hey! leveled up. Hey! Sure can. Yeah. You're getting yeah. there. Excellent. You ain't there so, uh, Robus anymore. <laughs> I uh, wish I remembered. <laughs> oh, hey, dude, yeah, I noticed you on here. Yeah, I'm in here. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Fantastic. Are, are you are you playing in the tournament? Or are you just hanging out? I'm just hanging out. I'm I would die in a tournament. I'm very bad. At Smash. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's fair. I mean I I'm kind of I I haven't finished first since my first match, but eh, it's still fun. I'm I'm more for fun than for glory. So I mean I get it. <laughs> no, me too. I I hear you. Like it's weird. Like I've I've learned the mechanics and like watched tournament streams and stuff for Smash Four more than any other Smash game. Yet I don't actually have any desire to go play in tournaments myself. Like I like playing at a high level with friends, but I don't want to take it to that next level where Smash stops being fun. You know? Well, yeah. That's that's actually part of it. Like 100%. I was gonna bring that up. So I'm in my early 30s, and I played Melee in college with like a group of like some of my closest friends that I met. Some I met in college, and some from high school. And we loved it. And then we still get together, or we play Melee online with the Wii U. Or not Melee, um, that'd be awesome. But uh, we play Smash uh, Wii U, Smash 4. And I don't actually want to get much better than them. <laughs> because then it wouldn't... Because it's kind of a, a bonding thing. And, and I know there's... Which is cool that, you know, when Sakurai makes a game, that you, when you play with items in certain levels, there are kind of some equalizers in there. But I still don't just want to be, like, so much better than the people I play with casually. Because it's not as much fun, you know? Like, yeah, I, like, they say it's lonely at the top. <laughs> yeah, and I've kind of gotten... Fortunately, I have people like James who kind of keep me on my toes because we're really close in skill level, but, like, I've gotten They're a really lot cool better. Match. Yeah, but, like, I've gotten a lot better than a lot of the people I play with most often in person, like a lot of my friends, and they get discouraged, and I'm just like, oh, like, I love learning the game because Mega Man's so fun to use, but when I get that much better than them, it just stops being fun. So I know what you mean. I will oh, say, this... man, nothing, nothing ruins the party. Like, the dude coming in being amazing at Smash. I know, it's true. I, I completely insane. agree. <laughs> and I, I have My favorite that thing is to pretend I don't know how to play and I pick Ness. I'm like, I love Paperboy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, personally, for me, I would be honored if I was four-stocked by New 2K. Like, I would. Yeah, I right? Would. I'd be honored. Or like, zero. I'd be perfectly happy to have New that happen. King, zero. Or yeah. heck, even, even Ally. Like, any top player, I'd be fine with. I'm definitely gonna try to play Mewtwo King at Shine just to get four stocked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just keep it oh. even short. I'm so by the way. Up. First time my voice has appeared. I uh, hey. I, I do translations sometimes. Not recently, but sometimes. 
<laughs> yeah, but you say you say you don't do you, you haven't done them recently. We haven't had a lot of translations recently because Soma hasn't been doing translations recently. He's a machine, well, translation well, machine. Generally speaking, <laughs> all of us can do translations, English to English. There you go. Thoughts to actual real worldly things. There you go. That's an that's an actual thing. You can do uh, translation. There's translation services for uh, Australian or Canadian or British or American English because of. <laughs> Grammar and spelling. <laughs> Isn't ghostwriting like English to English translation? The, the lag in this match is awful. Bla well, here's the thing. Um, Push Dustin is hosting this, and he's in Japan, so I feel like we didn't think this out. <laughs> no, you know, actually, I already played a few matches with him, and it was fine. So it's actually someone else that I'm getting lag from. Because he's not well, in this match, I don't think. When in doubt, blame Japan. Yeah, hey, right? guys, 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 guys in the chat. What what who's who's uh in uh the match with Ash that has terrible internet? Somebody somebody fess up. Does anyone know? <laughs> it was me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I used to when I when I played with my friends though, um like my favorite still is like um and I, I haven't got enough people together to try to try to do teams. Um eight player teams because I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. But, uh, we it can be teams. hit or miss. It can be hit or miss. It's like, yeah. there's not enough good stages for eight player smash in a weird way. Yeah, like, that's true. Like, Coliseum, like, this stage should be eight player. And player Boxing ball. Ring. Right, but they're not, so. I, I know there was mods that could, um, like, show that those stages could actually do eight player without any, some uh. sort of protruding lag. Right. Like, yes, yeah, but can they do eight player with the ice climbers on them? I question why <laughs> they chose some of them. like bound and determined to protect Mewtwo. Hey, wait, way to interu interrupt uh, Artsy Omni there, who was trying to make <laughs> no, a point. Fine. Well, oh, I was, my apologies. I, I didn't actually say. hear him on my end. My bad. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You're fine. I was just gonna say I questioned some of the smaller stages that they allowed on eight-player Smash, like some of the ones that are basically the size of a battlefield, like. Uh, what's it called? Yoshi's Shinra. Island is one of them. Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yeah, that one's way are. too small. Yoshi's Island, uh, because of the way the blast zones are, it's just, it's so awful with eight players. Like if I'm, you're going through classic mode and you just get stuck on that one. Ugh, awful. Yeah, I don't enjoy that stage to begin with, but with eight player smash, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, it depends. Like I have good memories of playing like four player free for alls at melee and just uh, standing on the pipe as Ness and just doing <laughs> my taunt all that, and then just waiting for uh, somebody to be hit over near me and then like back back throwing them off. That was. Just... <laughs> Good times, but yeah, like, and my favorite thing about Team Smash is we would always make people make sure people did themed uh, teams. We're like, unless you can find a team name and a theme, you, you can't do it. I used to do uh, Ness and Kirby with a friend of mine all the time. We're like, clearly this is a boy and his blob. Do it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's so true too. Ah, uh, shoot me! I'm in a match with two clouds and a bayonetta. Like, why? Oh no! <laughs> why? Oh my! Uh, are, are, are you one of the clouds? Pain. No, I'm Mega Man. <laughs> this is like I, just turned, I just turned on my Wii U for the first time in, I think, two years. And I just, I finally got the system updated. I only went from patch 1.02 on Smash 4 to whatever this newest patch is. Oh, you did? And nice. I have, I have just 50 CDs, so many CDs <laughs> unlocked. Wow. I haven't even gone to the menu yet, and I've been hitting A for like a minute. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this hey. lag! Hey Xander, what what do you remember? What the last question I asked you was uh, something about special modes. <laughs> and then no. You, you, okay, we were talking about special modes, and then you were saying something that completely got cut off by robot voice. Oh, you're saying I guess yeah. they didn't tell you about it. Yeah. Yeah, they did not tell me anything. Uh, it was one of those things where uh, they were trying to keep everything very under wraps. Like they they didn't. You know, uh, it, when the 3DS version came out, a lot of people were tweeting at me like, what's the final roster for the Wii U and stuff like that. And I oh, had gosh. no idea. <laughs> like, I genuinely didn't know. Uh, when the leaks, whenever leaks happen, people tweet me like, is this true? And it's like, I don't know. They don't tell me. <laughs> Remember oh, the this Rayman is, leak? This is, this is so fun because, because the Rayman leak guy is here. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> it's true. Well... <laughs> Great. Thanks for that, buddy. <laughs> I, and I, I particularly remember people 
tweeting at you and you be and being like, is Rayman like? Did you record the voice of Rayman and and you tweeted back to them, is Rayman in the game? Question mark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's how out of the loop I was. Like, I, yeah. It it sucks. I'm sorry. I ruined the internet. But yeah, it's it's one of those things where uh, when those happen, there really is no good response. <laughs> at all, um, but yeah, when I saw that one, I was like, "Oh shit!" I guess they announced Rayman. <laughs> I'll have you know, Omni, you were like part of the. You were responsible for one of the only true moments of anti-hype I ever felt for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, like respect. That was like the most amazing way to kind of uh, launch Smashified was to do something like that because yeah, everybody it really noticed. was. I, I'm, I, I'm I glad honestly, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel one? like uh, uh, Yacht Club Games should send you a thank you because you got Shovel Knight like on the mind of so many people. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I can really take credit for that kind of thing. Like I often think about like when the ballot was still going, if Smash Fight any had any sort of impact on like choices oh. or things like that. But I don't feel like it really made that much. You, you don't have to. You, you can talk. What? Oh. I, I thought you were observing. No, we're doing a stream. That's all I was saying. You don't have to be quiet. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, she, give her a mic, dude. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, no, no. We, we have someone come by. I'm just kind of confused. Um, okay. Sorry about that. No, just a little thing interrupted me on my end. So, anyway. Yeah, uh, Omni, you were, you really had me scared that morning. Like, I woke up, and I'm like, well, you can't make that. Scared? Well, it's, like, it's uh, right, man. <laughs> I hate is a strong word. I just don't think Rayman has the. I don't know. He just he doesn't enjoy the status. The, gra the gravitas. Yeah, the gravitas. He doesn't. He, I don't feel like he belongs in this All Star lineup. I'm sorry. I just with, don't. with characters such as Bayonetta and. Uh... Yeah, I hey, I'm not sure that I think Bayonetta really belongs that much either. But Rayman, I don't know. Were you <laughs> upset when he was a trophy? I did like the trophy. <laughs> okay. The real pisser on my end was right after the Rayman leak, uh, leak happened, I went back in to record DLC, which ended up being, like, Cloud. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if they care if I say or not, but, uh, one of the names listed, and it ended up being fake. They did that a lot, a lot of fake names. That's decoys, right? Yeah. yeah, one of the fake names was Rayman. <laughs> so there's a recording out there somewhere from Nintendo with you saying Rayman. I mean, I hope I hope they got rid of it because otherwise they need to lock that in a vault. <laughs> hey man, maybe they'll keep it if they uh, if they do a port and add more characters. They're like, yeah, we don't need to pay them anymore. We already got them to record it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I remember they also have on tape somewhere me going Rayman, ah, fighter of the Nightman. <laughs> 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 That's so good. <laughs> I, I think Rayman is kind of from. It's kind of weird speaking to a lot of European gamers. I feel like Rayman was very big in Europe, and Mega Man wasn't. Mm -hmm. So I almost feel like he would be the European Mega Man. <laughs> I think I, I totally see what you're saying. Yeah, like Mega Man really never got really did take off in Europe, and Rayman is huge. So I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, it's good, because I'm here to announce that in the French version of Smash, <laughs> you can play as Rayman, he wears a beret, you can beat him with baguettes. Nice. It's, honestly, we're super excited about it. See, now that version of Rayman I'd actually be down for. If he hits people with baguettes, yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah. I can, I can uh, totally I make that happen for an episode of Smash if I... <laughs> I, I don't know, like... Um, I don't know who's doing the voice, but they're very good. They sound exactly like Jerry Lewis. It's it's incredible. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so I I gotta ask, what was the most outlandish fighter that you announced, or can you say? Like, um, I don't. Again, I don't know if they care. Okay. Um, at this point, they seem to be pretty done with it, so I can't imagine it would matter. I thought Altair was. <laughs> pretty out there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That that was pretty out there. Uh, like okay. it was, it was, like Ezio was around at that point and all this other. So I was like, really? We're, we're going all to air. All right. 
Cool. Assassin's Creed cool. cool. is definitely the least interesting of the the assassins. Well, Connor actually gives him a run for his money, but uh, yeah, Ezio is though. definitely the most iconic, I think, because so? like people actually like like him. I mean, Altair is very bland. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. Ezio would have been the guy to go for there. Right. Ezio has three games. Altair has, like, one. Altair's personality is, like, killing people, and Ezio is, has charm. Yeah. So I would, also, I would have loved to say, like, if they let me say the full name of Ezio... Ezio the, Auditore <laughs> da Frenze. Yeah, like, can you imagine doing that in that stupid, big, bombastic voice with, like, full Italian accent? That would have been great. <laughs> I can't imagine it, but, uh, I mean, you could still do it. You could totally look it up and do it right now. I could probably do that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How the hell do you say Ezio's name? I need to first learn how to spell Ezio, apparently. Uh, I just want to point out that Assassin's Creed has sold more than The Legend of Zelda. So, I mean... <laughs> there you go. I think oh, Grand Theft Auto V has sold more than The Legend of Zelda. Well, Grant. Well, the only here here's the thing. The only uh, franchises in Smash Brothers at the moment that have sold more than Assassin's Creed are Mario, Pokemon, Wii slash Wii Fit. However you want to split those. Sonic the Hedgehog, um, and Final Fantasy. Those are the oh. only ones. That's it. I thought, I thought in Sakurai's mind it was Fire Emblem. Oh, stop it! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> I, I've had this argument a lot with people where I feel like I get it, and uh, I don't think Corrin was that exciting, but I feel like every Fire Emblem character in the game represents a different facet of the series. And for some series, like Zelda, based off of its importance to Nintendo and its sales and everything else, yeah, it deserves more characters, but at the same time, with the four that it has, it perfectly pretty much represents what the series is. Whereas something like Pokemon or Fire Emblem in order to show people what the game's about, more characters are justified. Because there aren't the central protagonists, but there are character types. So you have your your your, your mages and um, the you know, um, let's say Corn is uh, representing what 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 are those the called? The the dudes that turn into the uh, dragons in Fire Emblem. Dudes that turn into dragons. Well I I, or dra I don't know. <laughs> um, dragon dudes. dudes. Dragonborn. Oh. No, there's uh, the manicotti, like the like cheese. Uh, or, like, the oh, the manakeets? Manakeets? Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't, are Corrin, is Corrin like a manakeet? I don't know because I didn't play Fates because I was too bitter about Awakening. I hate anime. <laughs> you hate anime? <laughs> Someone quote that in the chat. Someone quote that in the chat. Oh, no. <laughs> so, 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 much, so much Japanese, so he's allowed. He's allowed. We're not allowed. We can't say. We can't say. Wow, you, like you offended anime. my wife too. She's like, "Who said they hate anime?" And it's like, "Why would you, Why would they say that?" <laughs> anime belongs. You might as well kick the baby. Yeah. <laughs> anime ruined going, Fire Emblem. Going, going back a few topics ago, because I, I do want to say, for Legend of Zelda being underrepresented, I agree. There's one other Legend of Zelda character that I'd want in the game. I'd want it to be a skin for Toon Link, and it's the, like, cartoon Captain and the Game Master Mario Super Show. <laughs> Link. Can, can we also get that for Mega Man and uh, Pit? Can we oh, just yeah. Go, uh, oh, my God. Let's not do that for Mega Man. <laughs> oh, I love that for Mega, Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega Man. Oh, God, that version of Mega Man was so bad. One step closer to getting Simon Belmont. Uh. <laughs> oh, I was so butthurt Simon wasn't in it. Did, was... did, did you say Simon... Did you say his name? Did you say Simon Belmont? Uh, you can't see it right now, but I'm tapping my nose in a. <laughs> yes. Um, but I and I said like, so you guys are pushing for my boy, right? And they're like, oh no, we'll see. Which is the most frustrating answer whenever you're being like one of the. Whenever you give one of those like, I'm joking, but not really. Yeah. It's yeah. Always so that must have been interesting for you because you said a bunch of names, so they might have been in. You just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which is, yeah, it's it's one of the reasons so why like, whenever I get one of these leaks and they stumble upon one of the characters that I did say the name of, I'm just like, oh shit. Is that, 
that's cool too because you know that they were somewhere somewhere on the mind of Nintendo as a as a possibility, even a remote possibility. If they made you say it, you know. Um, I mean, they seem pretty from the get go. Like some of these are dupes. We're not going to tell you who, but no. Yeah. I thought I thought Duck Hunt Dog was a dummy for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great. I, great. Great saying, uh, Duck Hunt, by the way, because that could have sounded very pornographic if you just enunciated that differently. It was. Oh yeah, we oh. we spent about fifteen minutes on that one. <laughs> now I have to ask, just because I've been waiting for Mega Man to be in Smash for so long, did you did you have to do a lot of takes for Mega Man? Like, how did you end up with the Mega Man? Type? Uh, that was I. I want to say that was actually my first take because normally nice. they had us do like a. I think for most of them. Most of them were like three takes and done. There were uh, definitely some not three takes and done. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at you, Ryu. <laughs> oh, like that, yeah. And uh, for that one, it like they always wanted three takes: low energy, medium energy, high energy. So it would have started Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man. Nice. And so I think for that one, I think that was the first one, but I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, with him, it was just one of those things where I've got friends who are super Mega Man fans. <laughs> oh, uh, no. And Hell so yeah. they were uh, very, very passionately discussing how much they wanted Mega Man in the game. Uh, this was before they knew I had the gig. We were just hanging out and they'd oh, be talking wow, about so it. Cool. So when I went in and I saw the name, I was like, oh shit. All right, they're going to kill me if I don't get this right. <laughs> <laughs> Do your... Uh... Do your friends make you do stupid voices all the time? Like, if, like if you play Smash with them, or they're like, no, do it, do the voice, do it. Uh, no, my friends have recently started giving me sh- A buddy of mine really loves giving me... Because I do the same basic voice in a commercial series for this website called Retail Me Not, and it's like, you know, it's just, you know, buy RetailMeNot.com today for all the best deals! And so we were at Evo for a hot second, um... And my buddy was wandering around, and he kept being like, hey, do you know who this is? I was like, fucking don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> and he's like, this is the voice of RetailMeNot.com. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, God. Yeah, that was... I, I, I mean, it, it, most of my friends are voice actors that, well, that live around here. So, yeah, no, they, they don't make me do stupid voices. They, they've been there. They understand. Xander, aren't your roommates uh, all in the voice industry, too? Uh, two of them are. One of them's a game dev. Okay, yeah. I, dude, I've been to your house. <laughs> oh, wait. Aren't you Jason's friend? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> <That's wild. laughs> yeah. Oh, right dude. Now, dude. Yeah, so you have all this talent around you, so it's pretty cool. You, can, you kind of you live with people that are in the game industry, in the voice industry, and that must be cool because you can kind of bounce ideas off each other and stuff like that or kind of talk about your gigs and all that, right? No, never do that. We, uh, <laughs> we have a vow of silence in the house. No one's allowed to speak. <laughs> no, it's it's good. It's good to be in an environment with uh, other people who are in the same field, understand the same kind of ups and downs and uncertainties and all that kind of stuff. And it's it's real nice. And they're all exceptionally talented people. So it's it's good. Yeah. Now you all know about my apartment. <laughs> James, it's so weird. I feel like you know everybody. Like we somehow seem to know all the same people. It's the weirdest thing. You and me? No, I'm oh, sorry, James Montagna. Oh, oh. okay. Well, I don't, I don't know. Just surround yourself with, with cool people. That's that's true. Rule. It's just that, like almost every time I like I know somebody, it just seems like you know them too, or vice versa, and it's just so it's just bizarre. But yeah, yeah we, well. it's true. We both surround ourselves with cool people. So there you go. Well, Xander kind of lives in a party house, so it, it's kind of like stands to reason that I would be there sometimes. Like, like, dude, you have, it's a pretty nice place, you know? It's I, it's <laughs> great. It's great for party. Though, oh man, like some friends of mine who live a few doors down, they've got a Turn great up party. The robot house. boy. Oh. Like this place is all right, but real party houses are true treasures. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that is true. All right, back to the stream. Let's see who's doing what. Let me see who's. Uh, there's I'm Push Dustin. Sudden Duck death. Hunt. 
Ah. Yeah, yeah, Ash, you're, you're playing against Push and uh, Nerby. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I was doing pretty well, and then didn't quite work out that way. One of my favorite uh, matches with um, a Source Gaming staff actually was I was Mega Man against uh, Push was playing Yoshi. Good match. Oh, nice. Good match. <clears throat> weird matchup. That's actually a weird it, matchup. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is like this is intense, man. You're not you're no longer involved in this match though. Point push, Dustin. I know, right? I'm doing okay. I'm doing fourth in the rankings overall, so not too bad. Not too bad. Um, Xander, I don't know if this was discussed with you yet, um, oh. but I mean, we're, we're going to need you to do the, the winner is whoever wins this tournament. That needs to be like their <laughs> official prize. That's, the That's their prize? All right. We were going <laughs> to give you money, but then now we <laughs> Something far more valuable. Hey, man, we'll even send you the voice clip, maybe, if we can get our sound editor to do it. I'm, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm down. I'm down for whatever you guys. I'm down for whatever you guys need. Mm -hmm. Well, what's going on? I, I missed some things. <laughs> come come <laughs> here, here. It's not for you. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> Very nice. I yeah, just man, randomly. Up. Sorry, I just randomly looked in the chat, and it says my willy feels funny. <laughs> and I really want context from it, but there doesn't seem to be any. I'm sure if you ask, I'll do it. Also, say, okay, wait, let's. This will be fun. This will be fun. I'm gonna go in the chat. Oh, I'm not logged in through that. Uh, Never mind. Hey guys, put in stupid stuff that you want uh, Xander to say in the Smash voice, and then he won't actually do it. But I mean, he might. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But we'll see. You'll be like, we'll see how funny it makes my Willie go. <laughs> also, can somebody provide context for that? Would be nice. <laughs> you know, it would be really. Actually, I don't know if you know Xander. It would be really fun, and fun to get you and my dad on like a show together, like a podcast where I'm like hosting. Um, because I don't know if you oh. know my dad. My dad's a voice <laughs> actor, and I feel like it'd be a lot of okay. fun. He's, he's your Rob dad Paulson. isn't a, a voice well, actor, yeah. You're right. Holy shit, your dad's actor. Rob Paulson? Yeah, my dad's Rob Paulson, so I feel like it would be fun to have you guys like on a Game Explain podcast or something, and like or like a Game Explain discussion, and have you guys just you know talk about doing voice acting for games. Because he was like, uh, he was Gray Fox from Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. So oh yeah, you use that. You don't, stuff too. you don't use Bubsy. You don't use Bubsy. <laughs> you don't use Bubsy. No, you sure don't. Well, you do if you're trying to embarrass him. <laughs> Oh, is we, he embarrassed by Bubsy? Oh, no. Wow. Why did I do that? <laughs> shouldn't have told me that. I thought it was a <laughs> weird edge. Yeah, we should totally hook up and, like, you know, do some sort of discussion. It'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... I... Yeah, I'm... Sorry, I'm, I'm getting... I keep... I have this weird thing where, like, if text is moving, I automatically start paying attention to it, so I should probably hide <laughs> I the understand. chat. But yeah, that would be awesome, man. Yeah. Well, so I'll, uh, I'll talk to Andre and Derek, and we'll try to make it happen. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, it'd be a lot of fun. And I'll, I'll talk to my dad and see what his schedule's like. But um, yeah, it'd be cool. Because, you know, I obviously grew up around, you know, an, an amazing voice actor. But I've never gotten to, like, you know, really talk to someone who's done voice acting for a game I really love, other than Metal Gear Solid. So it's been, of course, okay. Smash, which is crazy about. So it'd be fun. I do have to ask, and I'm sorry, I get one. I get one. Oh, you get his... No, go what, for it. What... What is... Okay, what was the, like... Did you watch Animaniacs growing up, and then your dad comes <laughs> home and is just like, by the way, I'm yet, I'm sorry, I get one. You have no, to no, one. I was actually there. I was there uh, not only for the audition that got him the job for Yakko, but I was actually there for the... Uh, when he originally recorded Yakko's World. I was sitting in the recording booth watching him do it. Holy sh Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it was really awesome. And uh, so, no, I knew all the shows my dad was involved in before I started watching them. So it wasn't like a, you know, now, of course, I'll watch something because I don't have as much time to watch cartoons, but I'll be like, oh, that's my dad. But growing up, like, I knew everything he was in. I was really a big fan of Antoine, actually, because he was in the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, and I love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. that was a lot of fun. Oh, that's super cool. 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I knew he was Diaco growing up, you know, before the show actually started, and Animaniacs, I loved it anyway. I was, you know, re my dad being in it made it even better, but I was like, I love this show anyway. I would have watched it, period. Oh, did yeah. It, did it affect, yeah. Did it affect no, which no. Ninja Turtle was your favorite? Um, you know, maybe in, in both ways. Maybe, like, you know, what in my younger years, yeah, Raphael would be my favorite, but then in my rebellious teenage years, I'd be like, no, Raphael's not my favorite. But <laughs> what's funny is that... Actually, Donatello has always been my favorite, but my dad is actually Donatello now in the new Turtles for Nickelodeon. Yeah. So it kind of worked out in a funny way, where he ended up becoming my favorite turtle, you know, anyway. So. Well, looks like uh, James left the group, uh, apparently, because he hates Ninja Turtles. So what a jerk, right? Oh. Who hates Ninja Turtles? <laughs> Dude, you should be two. Come on, Matt. He needs to spend more time with Michelangelo. Learn <laughs> how to be a party dude. It's true. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, he's back. He What's came up, back. We all <laughs> uh, Yeah, sorry, having some problems in this. I, I'm back. Way to mute you. Way to mute me, man. Nah. Wait, Wait can we can prove that you hated turtles? Oh no, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, we were, we were talking about Ninja Turtles, and that's when you left the chat, so we're like, oh, well, James just must hate me at TMT. God, I hate <laughs> it. No, I grew up on that. Not at all. I would have loved to right? have been that conversation. Now, my internet was acting up, and I was just like kind of clicking around in frustration, and then the window went away. Anyway, I'm back. Hi. <laughs> uh, wasn't there a really cool Ninja Turtles game that was made by some of the people that made Super Smash Brothers Brawl, like on Wii? Do you guys remember that yeah. one? Smash yes, Up. I... I yeah. have a review of that on Source Gaming. Oh, nice. it, was, it was pretty excellent, right? It was it was good. It was I think the biggest issue with it was the roster, especially because it was billed as a 25th anniversary game, and the roster was pretty much characters from the CGI movie that uh, had Sarah Michelle Gellar as Buffy. Oh right. <clears throat> and yeah. it, it used and it used the same art style, and it was just them and then like Fugitoid. Like, there were no characters from the 80s cartoon. There were no... I don't even think, like, Leatherhead or Rat King or anything interesting like that was in it. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Like, it was really, like... Not even, like, cool Mirage characters. It was really, really limited. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, and it was an opportunity to kind of go go ham. And this was prior to the Nickel Nickelodeon buyout of Ninja Turtles. Oh, right. Yes! Um, it was uh, Peter Laird, right, who, who owned it. Because, yeah, Eastman sold all of it to him. And, uh, like, Eastman kind of dug the wider exposure of it, and you know, I'm not like a Turtles expert, so this is just me uh, going off memory, but Laird kind of disliked the direction that the cartoon took and how like, his original ser his original, you know, vision for what the Turtles were, got so far away from that, and that's why like, the 2003 cartoon followed the Mirage comics, and you never saw like Rocksteady and Bebop or any of anything like that. So, right. that it be but being a 25th anniversary game, we're like, well that'd be cool, you could bring stuff in from the Archie comics, you could bring stuff in from the 80s cartoon, from Mirage, and it was basically yeah. just the movie and a couple things from the 2003 show, and you're like, meh. But uh, playing-wise, it was good. It had a lot yeah, of cool so stuff. I, I only got hands-on with it a little bit, but it seemed like it, it played really well. Um, but yeah, I could see it as like, if for fan service or fan favorite kind of stuff, maybe it kind of missed the mark. Right, and also like, I mean, let's let's be honest here. All of the turtles, I mean, their moves were, were very different and felt unique, but still, like, design-wise, you could have gotten a lot cooler things. Because that's one of the good things about Smash, is that all the characters... Like, you have such a diverse, like, range and class of characters. You could have Villager fighting Kirby, fighting Marth, fighting, right. you know, so... Uh, <clears throat> hey, I don't want to interrupt you guys, but um, the tournament's over. Hooray! Oh, yeah, just won! So, um, yeah. Matt won with Matt 100 won? And 111 points. All right. Matt. And then second place was uh, J Mix, with 110 points. Who's and, who? Uh, J Mix. Okay. And then um, third place was Mast Man. All right. Nice. Just barely missed the top three. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ash got uh, fifth place with 82 points. Oh, was I fifth? I thought I was fourth. Uh, oh, yeah. at least on my screen it says fifth. <laughs> That is the most bizarre thing. It actually says fourth on mine. Huh. <laughs> oh, no. That's the weird... I've never heard of that happening. That's so oh, weird. Oh, hold on. It says the winner... Uh, someone in the chat says the winner change. Where is... Well, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Sander, Sander can you say two names? <laughs> is, it, is it within your capability to announce two winners at two separate times, Xander? Okay, yes. All right, so Matt and Jimix. 
Jim. Is it? Uh, hold on, let me see. Jimix. Yo, I'm back. And yeah, Ash did come fourth because he was in oh, the okay. last match with me. And it says fourth on mine as well. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it says so, uh, Delzian is, is fourth for me. Kenneth yeah, the no. Gather is okay, Delzian. according to chat. Thanks, Kenneth. Now we know that he's <laughs> okay. Good job, dude. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, we'll do Matt and Jmix. Okay. Oh. The winner is Matt. The not winner, but still did really well, is Jmix. Or Jmix. <laughs> What's your mix, man? <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's very good. Nice for good. good. <laughs> <laughs> and JMX will treasure that forever. <laughs> Barely better, because I'm charging him for it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamie, um, just for my own peace of mind, was, was yes. Bomberman one of the names? Say nothing if it would. Um. <laughs> Blink twice if yes. Uh, I don't remember. I'm I'm sorry. There were a lot of them that I don't remember. I remember the ones that really stood out. That's like wow. there's no way. Oh wow! Shots Ow. fired. <laughs> so no Goku. No. No. He said he said Rayman though. Were were you here Omni when he was saying that? Because uh, yeah yeah. He said I heard about he that. said. Yeah, yeah, he said Rayman, so when people were, like, texting him about the leak, he's like, I don't know, maybe? <laughs> possible? What, what a sad reality we live in when Rayman stands out more than Bomberman. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Bomberman. That'd be really sad. I true. remember that because the leak happened, and then, like, less than a week later, I went in to do the, the DLC. So because of that, it was like right at the front of my mind. I was still dealing with tweets from people being like, "But is it?" <laughs> so that's why I was like, "Oh." Uh, well, oh, no. well, I, I know, I know about Simon Belmont now, and that's that's good enough. Simon, Simon and Bomberman. Those are my two. I, I wish two. Simon had been in the game. It would have been so cool. And then you could have like Dracula or Alucard as an assist trophy. Oh man. Nah, he, he is. You're a Super Samus clone. Nah. <laughs> you have to, I feel like you'd have to have a stage. Like you'd have to have... you got to fight Dracula. you got to fight Dracula. That's the stage. Oh, yeah. No. And he has to, he has to do yeah. the whole, like, what is a man? As, like, his yeah. intro. I feel like oh. death would be the stage hazard. You just have death in the background, like, chucking crap at you, like, uh, like sickles and stuff. Just being, oh, I'm here. Oh, sorry, can I tell a really stupid story that I'm way too proud of? Yeah, go ahead. Go on. So, I was in a stage production of Dracula a few years back, mm -hmm. and so they were like, hey, we kind of want to promote the show. Is there, like, does anyone have any ideas of what a good, like... Like, this was when YouTube was kind of becoming the way to advertise, um, that when you couldn't afford actual advertisements. So I was like, I have a stupid idea. Make so a YouTube poop. I got uh, the guy who played Dracula in our production and the guy who played Van Helsing in our production to recreate that scene <laughs> in Dracula's lair, and I filmed it, and it's the dumbest thing, but I love it. I, I, I don't see how that is uh, something dumb to be proud of. That's just something to be proud of. <laughs> hey, uh, Xander, there's a question for you in the chat. Oh yes, what is uh, uh, he, so uh how did how did you feel saying we fit trainer? I guess we're asking like did did you did you buy it? <laughs> oh, uh yeah, no, that one actually made a lot of sense to me. It's sold a bajillion copies and it was a huge thing on the Wii, so it's like, yeah, Nintendo, you yeah. take your victory lap. <laughs> yeah, I think it was one of those that like when we heard it it made sense, but it's just not yeah. something you think about it. Yeah. There's a lot of characters though. Like, I'll be honest, I'm going to do that. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm a real gamer. Losers. Oh, so, wait, I do have a question. I have a question for Xander. Yeah, what's How up? How was it doing the 50 Fact Direct? I don't know if this is an answer yet. Because I know you did it in, like, the, the announcer voice, and you kind of did it in another voice as well. 
Oh yeah, that was that was weird. So they, when I got sent that, it was an audition, and they were like, they couldn't tell me what it was for. So they were like, it's another game similar to Smash. I was like, okay, like, <laughs> we want the we want the Smash voice, and then one take that's not the Smash voice because we think the Smash voice voice might get annoying. Okay. So I did the audition, <laughs> and nothing I did in the audition ended up in the fifty facts. So I was like, oh okay, which happens, but you know, generally. Generally, they don't give you a requested audition because they're not sure if they want to give you the job and then have you come in and do absolutely nothing that you read for with. Okay. So they, they had me come in and they're like, we want the Smash announcer, but we want him to be able to talk. We just don't want this the entire time because that would be annoying. <laughs> I was like, all right, fair <laughs> enough. So I kind of, that voice is kind of based a lot off of Gary Owens, who did the, you know, from beautiful downtown Burbank, it's laughing. <laughs> so I just kind of relaxed him into a more Gary Owens thing, and then they had in the script highlighted, when they wanted him to get big! So. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody seems to be asking you about your snake, Xander. I don't know what what's I, up I, with that. I don't have a snake. <laughs> no, uh, they want uh, Xander to say uh, snake. Oh, uh, to say snake. Oh, uh, uh, that makes sense. Oh, I'll try to be the snake. I would like that better. I want to hear that. <laughs> what about your snake? Well, his name is Pisces. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh... Snake! Oh, there we go. I, I don't know. Snake? 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 Oh, yeah, there it is. Snake! Uh, rum, bum, bum. <laughs> See, that would have been awesome if Snake had been in the game, and then every time he died, Q's like the announcer just going, Snake? 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 No! <laughs> actually, damn it, actually, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I, I, like that. I would have killed to do that. <laughs> okay, um, so do you guys want to start uh, Smash Trivia? Yep. Oh wait, Xander. hold on. Um, Xander, did you okay. did you say um JMix's name after we updated the results? Because JMix actually won. You yeah. just didn't update the results, so like I kind of oh. feel like he got shafted. So I I said his <laughs> name, but I I was making fun of him for being a loser. But now he's not. He's a winner. <laughs> now he's the winner, unfortunately. All right. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting All right. awkward. <laughs> Whoa. All right, hang on. Cue the romantic music. JMix. I know I hurt you real bad, and I wanted to make up for it by saying that the winner is Amex. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was amazing. Well, it's headed to my eye. Uh... We got the job now. Yeah, can you just edit in, um, can you just edit in uh, what is it, Careless Whisper over over that? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, please do. We'll All do right. that. <laughs> I like how the... the chat has become a list of people asking, hey Xander, did you say the name for Ice Climbers? Did you say the name for Snake? Did you say the name for... <laughs> I mean, all of the questions that come up are so creative. Everywhere. <laughs> and the answer to all of them is no. Oh, wow. <laughs> no Ice Climbers? Uh, actually, I think... Well, yeah, because I think uh, by the time I was recording the 3DS version, I think they hadn't fully committed to taking Ice Climbers out yet. And it's pretty well known they were supposed to be in the game, but then yeah. it just didn't work out. Yeah. So I, I think I did say Ice Climbers. A lot of these I don't remember. Like, <laughs> and I'm sorry. Uh, if they it's still like regular right. Smash Bros. staples, I didn't really think about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you probably said so many things and probably repeated loads of lines that it's all going to kind of really? blur a bit together, isn't it? <laughs> you don't, yeah, you don't we... have to tell us if you don't want... Um, the specifics of it, as far as the characters, but did so, you ever get to a character where you're like, oh god, I hope not. Yeah, Duck Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rough. And that one had to be real. Well, what's a character that you really wanted to be real? Oh, Simon. I yeah. Simon yeah, we went so over bad. that. Simon, I'm on, man. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted Simon real bad. I wanted them to what just be like, okay, this is a Castlevania game now. So were a lot of the fake characters, were they a lot more guest characters, or were they Nintendo characters, or both? Um, I, I don't remember 100%. This was like two years ago, so I, it is... I wish sure. I remembered more details 
on that. Uh, but yeah, the the fake names tended to range from like stuff I knew wouldn't be in the game, uh, which I thought Duck Hunt Dog was in that category too. Too, wow. but yeah, it, it kind of became this game for me in the in the booth, guessing like, is this guy real? Is this guy real? Is this guy real? <laughs> Out of curiosity, did they ever have you record like alternate names for Duck Hunt? Because I know the final name, in, at least in the, the U.S. version, is just Duck Hunt. But was there like a Duck Hunt dog kind of thing, or? Yeah, I did both Duck Hunt duo and Duck Hunt dog, I believe. Gotcha. Oh, nice! So dog was also recorded. That's actually very yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because that's a fan name for the character for the longest time was Duck Hunt dog. So. Oh well, there you go. There you go. Maybe they thought about it. It's just interesting. Maybe they were thinking that that's going to be his U.S. name. So I have to ask, yeah. Omni, was there a character that you wanted to see? Like, you, you did the Rayman hoax. Was that fueled out of just your desire to see Rayman very badly join the roster? I wouldn't I wouldn't say so, no. I, I'm a fan of Rayman, but I yeah. personally never thought it made sense until maybe after the trophy appeared. It was like, well, maybe they'd consider him uh, in a game at some point. But I, I think for me personally, I'd rather have seen... A character like Bomberman. Bomberman. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Bomberman. Yeah. Everyone been, wants Bomberman. Yeah, that, that would have been. Also, I have Definitely. to give you like major props and respect for your uh, Shantae Smashified. That was uh, around oh, the opposite way you. forward. We were, we were all. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you. <laughs> As a random aside, since the topic of Bomberman came up, I feel like if there's one property that's not being used that Nintendo should buy up, it's Bomberman. Actually, I feel Bomberman, as far as our portfolio. Is like perfect. It's like you make a bunch of cheap games. They're multiplayer. They always have value. You're basically making the same game over and over again. I don't know if Konami's doing it with that game. They bought Hudson, didn't do anything with it. It's the dumbest thing. They, ever. they bought Hudson and canceled three games. And make then, just uh, what kind of investment is that? Like, that, I want that, that. Like, I want the IPs, but I don't want to use them. What, what kind of because what Konami's that company like, do great. They, just don't want, they don't want other people to have nice things. <laughs> Konami just really makes no sense as a company. Like I, I, I still want to research them. There's still a company I plan to look into, hopefully pretty soon, because obviously the, the is a big question. The, but, the, major, like, the majority of their money isn't from gaming anymore. The and the IPs have value. Um, to for other purposes, like the pachinko and the patchy slots, as they keep doing Contra oh, no. and Castlevania. <laughs> and, it's true though, but because because the, the IP still has value, but the problem is that's nostalgia based value, and I don't know how long that can go unless mm. they keep making games. Does that However, mean Bomberman pachinko? I don't oh, want it. And the pachinko uh, balls explode. <laughs> that was gonna happen. I thought that would happen. That would have been like the first one. I'm surprised it wasn't. Guys, uh, Rocket Bomberman. Station in the chat. He says that there's currently a Bomberman mobile game. With online yeah, multiplayer and a single player campaign. I thought there might have been a Bomberman game. Uh, I don't know I if it's Japan only. I remember when they. I remember when it came out. It was only like a year or so ago. Yes, Nerbion. Metal so Gear Erotic is, Violence. Is, I'm, I'm waiting like bomber. for a <laughs> Bomberman is. Erotic Explosions. I think that'll be. Well, seeing as how this okay. Bomberman as as Erotic no Explosions. Good. What? Sorry. <laughs> You're not waiting for the Bomberman Survive, the Bomberman Zombie Survival Game. I, dude, I'd play that. I'd play that in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, so, no, if you guys aren't aware that, that there was uh, a Castlevania, the last Castlevania branded thing to come out was a pachinko machine called Castlevania, and the subtitle of it is Erotic Violence. Yes. I mean, that sounds pretty great. <laughs> it feels like they're finally taking that, that step that we've always wanted them to go in <laughs> with Castlevania, and I'm, I'm personally all for it. I mean, it makes sense with the chains. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of leather going on. Yep. Yep. You get He's sweaty dirty. fighting vampires. Mm -hmm. It gets a little steamy. <laughs> you do get various... the whip. I mean, just... Yeah. It's various ways to take your money. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see Konami, if they're really against doing games and they want just, like, cheap franchising, like, give us, like... Hire Ua Bold to make a shit ton of video game movies <laughs> of your franchise. Yeah. You know, like, at least embrace the crap and give us something we can, like, enjoy, you know? Like, like Capcom with Mega Man. We won't make Mega Man games, but we will market the hell out of that character, man. There's cartoons and so much, like, random merchandise. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, it sucks they're not making games anymore, but if you're gonna be shitty, at least be awesome shitty. Metal Gear Survive, directed by Yui Bull. 
<laughs> oh my god, a loving there... recreation of Symphony of the Night by Uwe Boll. I I would totally pay for that. <laughs> um, there was a Castlevania movie in production at one point. No, no, that was that was Ooh. called Van Helsing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, am I the only one that remembers this? Uh, the video game for um, the, for the Van Helsing movie, like the tie-in oh. game, was awful. But I rented it oh, and I played shit. it. And that you go into the library and you can read, and there's books about like. Um, vampire killers and vampire host history, and there's like uh, a couple different books about the Belmonts. I thought that was really like fun. <laughs> uh, that's great. I actually really love that movie, the Van Helsing. Like it's it's bad in all the right ways to work for me. <laughs> so like I played the video game, I watched the animated movie that came out. I I really enjoyed it. So Castlevania was originally going to be done uh, in 2005. And uh, it was going to be directed by Paul W. S. Anderson. So I guess he's all like, instead of doing the twelfth Resident Evil movie, meh, Castlevania. I feel Wasn't like we around the same. On that one. <laughs> Wasn't that around <laughs> the same time that there was like a Metroid movie in development and oh, uh, the, the Assassin's Woo Creed one first got announced? Yeah, the John Woo Metroid movie. And I'm sure there was oh, another no. game franchise, Soul Calibur. That's it. <laughs> Soul Calibur movie as well. I think Soul Calibur is relevant. Yeah. I, like I think Soul Calibur could make a good yeah. movie. It could Ooh. actually. John Woo directing video game movies would be pretty cool. Yeah. It depends what franchise. I feel like Metroid... And by the way, by the way, Ash, so Game Explain had a discussion about possible Nintendo movies, and I don't remember who your guest was, but I remember Nintendo and I also did a discussion at the same time, and we, then we listened to yours, and we're all like, I don't know what this person's talking about with Metroid not being able to be made into a movie. That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard. It's, <laughs> it's based off of Alien. Aliens movie. Like, it's just about... And that movie was about one woman against an alien that was freaking... Yes! Her ...through a ship. And, there's, and that's what Metroid as a movie would be. You have the, the lead-up that... Cause as long as you have, uh, I think, like, the essence of a franchise like that, you have the feel of it, and you have the backstory. There's a lot of backstory in Metroid. There's her in the Federation. There's Chozo. There's her family. There's Ridley. There's a lot to draw on. You, you know, it's like, like, you can't make this comic book into a movie. There's no thought bubbles. It's, it's a different medium. <laughs> sorry, you can't go was... forward, you can't go back. That's the reason why. You can go movie to game, you yes! can't go game to movie. Game to movie, you can't, no, only one way. <laughs> only one way. Oh, so the movie's going to be about Metro and Other M. <laughs> <laughs> it just starts on Other yes! M halfway through the whole storyline. No, it's going to start Federation Force. We can't hear you, Ash. Know. No, we cannot. No. Oh, is that, I've been wondering. Is, I thought he like wasn't there. I yeah, think. I thought he left. Oh, yeah. Okay, or just, is he just there? Yeah, just drop out and rejoin. That's what I had to do when my mic died. Well, when it just I stopped being weird. By the way, one thing, one thing I'll say is we, the last match was pretty awesome because I think I was in with Ash and Nintendo. And by the way, Nintendo, I love I love how you play DD. I love, that's how you play DD. By hey. the way, you roll around and you throw Scordos. Um, but Ash is actually pretty good. Like he's like legit. Because um, one thing I, I always felt, and maybe this is wrong, maybe it's not, but I feel like sometimes the game journalists aren't as good at video games. But he's actually like he's like he's pretty good at Smash Bros. It's like oh wow, he's actually giving me a challenge. He almost killed me that stupid tornado. You guys hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 There yes. we go. Yeah. I was wondering, I was like, it started to feel like you guys couldn't hear me because I was saying things and I would just get interrupted. Like, oh, my mic's not working. No, we just like, totally ignore you. Much. Yeah, <laughs> not, yeah, all ten. Uh, but no, what I was saying is I actually don't remember who the guest was in that discussion, but I completely agree with you pre preaching in the choir. I think Metroid would make a great movie, so I wish I could remember who that guest was because I'm pretty sure I disagreed with them then and I disagree with them now. <laughs> you just had to get that out of your system. Yeah, yeah totally, because I was like, I was trying to respond, I'm like, I can't! Hey, everyone's bitter about your Mega Man, that's why. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, hey, guys, I'm actually going to duck out now, but thanks for having me. Uh, I hope you have a nice trivia. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll try to stick around and listen, but uh, I'll have to get driving now. Um, so, thanks for having me. Ash Paulson, I will see you over dinner tonight, later. Ooh, and, uh, cool. and, let's, yeah. and I know uh, Scandalous, yeah, right? <laughs> well, uh, thanks again for joining us, James. Yes, yeah, thank you, James. Thanks for having me. Uh, Source Gaming, congratulations on the anniversary. Keep doing your awesome thing. You guys are incredible. Thank you. You're thank awesome. You. Thank you. Have fun, James. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've, shall we jump into the trivia then, Push? Yeah. 
Yeah, before we do, yeah. I just want to let you guys know, I have to leave pretty much at 6 to 6.10, so would it be better for me to participate or no? Um, I, I also got a duck out around yeah. 6. So, um, yeah, so like everyone has, um, Xander and um, Ash, you both have to leave, so we'll just start it, and then whenever we have to end, we'll just end it. And then okay. um, if people in the chat want to continue it, then I can continue hosting it afterwards. Yeah, I should probably head out no later than 6, so I got a little time. Is okay. it what, like, right. what time is it for you guys? I'm in this eastern thing. Oh, it's 523 uh, for us here. Okay, I was just curious. Okay, I just want to know what, you got an idea how, how long we're going to have. Uh, so let me uh, quickly explain uh, the rules and everything. So um, for Ash and Soma, you guys will be on a team, and uh, Smash Chew and Nintendo will be on a team. And um, basically, yeah. do you see the chat in our little Hangouts area, the private chat? Yes. So um, if you send a message there, that's like buzzing. Oh, okay. And then, like, once uh, the first person that buzzes will be able to attempt to answer. People in the chat can also try to answer. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't see the chat. Can we... We're not allowed to look at the chat, right? Because I'm not looking at anyway. I, I mean, you, you can look at the chat if people want to try to help you guys out. Okay, the I'm chat's pretty delayed. The chat is kind of delayed, so I don't think it'll be okay. that helpful unless we're... Yeah. I, just, we're very I was curious. I just Come on, Smash people. Too. Especially if you're watching... Yes, yes, Ash. Cheats. Cheats. The worst. <laughs> so, um, See, Xander, do you have the list of the trivia that I sent you? I do. Okay. I have it right in front of me. Okay, so, um, we'll start off with the first question at the very top. Okay. okay let's get ready, Smash 2. Let's do this. Okay. Going down, Ash. Going down, Soma. All right, let's All do right. it. Let's have a nice, clean game. What <laughs> does Peach say during her victory pose, starting with Oh. Okay, Ash. Oh, oh, damn. Earth. oh did I win? Okay, don't get cocky. Push, are you keeping a track of who got the, uh, the pop? Yeah, hold on. Um, the. Okay, there we go. That is the best. You did get that right, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, okay. Ash, you get one point. All right. Okay. So let's go on That's to. That's good. I was just, I was just gonna say sweet. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, um, ready for the next question? Yes. Okay. Uh, list all seven of the DLC characters that were released for Smash, for Smash, for Wii U and 3DS. I can mm -hmm. speak. Okay, I think um, Ash again was the first. All right, so that would be uh, Mewtwo, Lucas. Uh, sorry, Mewtwo, Lucas, Ryu, uh, Cloud, Corin, Bayonetta, and uh, God, who's the last one? Why am I drawing a blank? Uh, what is wrong with me? Okay, us. Uh, <laughs> wow, I totally uh, drew a blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh, James <laughs> cheating on the hands. <laughs> does, it, does it pass over? Yeah. Yeah, how's that work? Yeah, uh, you guys can attempt to answer. I mean, it's just yeah, the last so. one, so. Yeah. And, uh, well, <laughs> it was Lucas, Ryu, Mewtwo, Corin, Bayonetta, Cloud, and Roy. Yep. Oh, yes! Oh, that's that's correct! So, so I got a question before we go on. Um, do you press? You had to, to enter it right after you, like at the end. Yeah. I I right before. at the end. You can't do it before. Okay, because I did it before. Okay. 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 I'm glad. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we clarified the rules before we started this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so All it's right, one next one. Question. All right. Question number four. Name the two characters that were included in the alleged game at Sue leak, but were not included in the Oops. final roster of Smash for Wii U and 3DS. Okay, Smash 2. It was Krom and Corsman. Yep. Nice. Nice. Woo. Give that man a point. Okay. Give me that point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and next one. Alright. What character did Artsy Omni create a convincing render of just before the Smash? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead, Ash. Rayman. Yes, that's incorrect. That was incorrect. Oh. <laughs> and Shovel Knight. The answer was, of course, Shovel Knight. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> nah, it was definitely ramen noodles. <laughs> you should have, you should have oh, done a. Uh, you should have included a date for that one and tried to trick people with the Klonoa link. That would have been uh, really sneaky to do that. Oh, well, no, this, this, these are the easy questions. It gets a lot harder. I was hoping to do it easy, easy. By the way, the cl I, I really wanted Klonoa to be real. I was like so. I was uh, me too. I that and Klonoa would be so good. <laughs> Great, I'm sorry. All right. All right. Next question. Next question. All right. Okay, this one I'm not sure on the formatting. Am I supposed to give the A, B, C, D, E, or am I... Uh, let me just double-check the images real quick because I think I've loaded up in the wrong order. Um, oh my God. Okay, uh, you can just go ahead and ask the question. Um, you can give A, B, C, D, and then once... Sorry, you, you, uh, my so internet... There's multiple time. choice, then. Yeah, okay, yeah you, so you can read multiple them. choice. All right. What characters has Sakurai made an official comment on why they aren't included in Smash for Wii U? A. Ice Climbers B. Ridley C. King K. Rool D. Wolf E. Krom Okay, um, uh, Smash 2. So, Krom, yes. Ridley, yes. Ice Climbers, yes. Uh, the other two, no. Uh, what was it? Uh, King K. Rool, definitely not, and... Who's Oof. the other one? Wolf. Yeah, well, he didn't say anything about Wolf. Okay, yep. All right. Well, he did to me. Nice. What, he didn't do that for you guys? <laughs> no, I have no idea why Wolf wasn't in the game. All right, give that man a point, and we will move on to question seven. What did Sakurai discuss in his Famitsu mm -hmm. column titled oh, Exhaustion God. and Excitement, released in early fe uh, February... Relating to the Smash series as a whole. A. Melee and Smash for Wii U and in, as an eSport. B. Making Smash feel fresh with new characters. C. Balancing Cloud. D. His cat. <laughs> okay, uh, Smash 2. B. And because we had a big ass argument about this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I... Okay. Very well done. Sorry, <laughs> Give that man a point. All right, now we're getting now we're getting to the end of the easy questions. So pick up easy points where you can. I translated that article and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Bayonetta, maybe. <laughs> All right. What retro character that is popular with Smash fans did Sakurai want to add to Brawl? Uh, Gino. Yes. I was so close to saying Takamari then. <laughs> I know, I was about to, too, actually. I was like, mm. Takamura from Haji no Ippo? Is he big with Smash fans? <laughs> no, Takamaru <laughs> from Nezo. I don't even know the other guy is, actually. And that's how much a loser I am. Did I just get too nerdy? He boxed a bear. It, it's, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I completely forgot about Takamaru. <laughs> one day. One day. It's yeah. gonna happen gonna happen. Alright. Number nine. Why was Bandai Namco chosen to develop Smash for Wii U and 3DS? Okay, Soma? Uh, because of their expertise in making like a super large, uh, basically like large fighting game. Although I kind of think it's funny that he didn't mention a, a Dimps or Capcom, but you know. Alright. <laughs> Alright. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Give him I guess just the subtle shade at Capcom being thrown. <laughs> hey, Capcom got plenty of representation still in the end. <laughs> Is that his mic still working? Hmm? Uh, my, my mic? Okay, okay. Yeah. I was yeah, wondering because like, it, it blinked and I didn't hear anything. That's why I was like, uh oh. oh okay. <laughs> you know, it's fine. Next okay. question. Alrighty. Who is the only character not made by a Japanese studio in Smash? Okay, Smash 2. Diddy Kong. Nice. Nice. Okay. I write that in trivia. every one of my uh, K4 articles. Because I'm always all like, whenever I do a non Japanese character, I've written that so much. <laughs> Diddy Kong. Oh, okay. Right, now we're getting into the challenging level with the cute subtitle of Giga Bowser. <laughs> oh, thank you. Challenging level. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Question one. List all of the characters within the Forbidden Seven. Okay, um, oh, Nintendo. All right, there's Dixie Kong, mm -hmm. Toon Zelda, Toon Sheik, mm -hmm. um, Roy, Dr. Mario, Mewtwo, and a file called Pra and Mai, which people think is Plusle and Minon. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Damn. I did not know that. This is trivia. <laughs> I do like V2 and Roy. That's about it. Oh, um, by the way, the challenge in questions are worth two points. So every round, oh, nice. the number will be increased by one. The stakes have been raised. Question two. What character was Sakurai referring to when he said, just because you try hard doesn't mean you'll make it into the battle? Okay. Uh, oh, I think Ash. that was Ash. It was Ash. Luigi. Yes, yes, it was, oh, indeed. I actually got that one wrong. I was thinking Crom. I was going to say Crom to you, Smash you. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. I like how Crom's always a little bit joke. Uh, Sakurai says something bad about this character. Oh, it's clearly Crom. It is Waluigi, right? Yes. It is Waluigi. Yes. It, was in the, it was in the Smash Direct. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was on the picture of the day. Yeah. It was on yeah. the picture of the day. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta think of how there's some other random type in this box. Um... Alright, next question. Alright, here we go. Number three. This one's kind of weird. <laughs> How many eyes does the Daisy Trophy have in Super Smash Brothers Melee? Or okay, uh, Ash. Three. Yes. <sighs> only nice. at one point. Only at one point zero zero. Patched out in one point oh two, I think. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> among, extra among extra point. Other various. <laughs> spelling errors. There's a lot of spelling errors in the early, the first edition of like NTSC Melee, like the trophy descriptions. There's a, just like a lot of errors. Okay, I'm oh, yeah. I'm giving Soma an extra point for up in me in trivia. <laughs> I know that either actually. It's kind of cool. Trivia I feel like we just don't write anything about that actually. How do we not write anything about that? All right. All right. Next question. Question number four. What did Sakurai call DLC in his column? The creator's hands are alive and well. A. A necessary evil. B. A scab. C. Great for promotional purposes. Oh, uh... <laughs> okay, uh, Nintendo? I'm gonna go with... C? No. You are incorrect. Okay, Ash? A, I think. No. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he actually he called it a scam? Yeah. Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> wow, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Gee. All right. He was going to be so blatant about it. I know. Well, he said um, <laughs> DLC that was made before the game was released uh, was a scam. Okay. <laughs> and so and then he said he that went on to clarify that um, DLC was, for Smash 4 Wii U is authentic. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, thanks to Mass Man for that translation, by the way. Cheers, Max oh, Man. Copyright 2016. <laughs> okay, next. Number five. Which rules are confirmed by Sakurai for third party characters? A. No manga characters. B. Up to two characters per company. C. Must have the creator's permission and free reign. D. The characters must carry history with them. Okay, Ash. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I think it's A, B, and D. No. Okay. Oops, not quite. Not. <laughs> uh, I forgot what they were. I forgot what some of them were. A uh, is it, one. If you look on the chat, you can see the title card that uh, Nerbion made. Oh, okay. Um, I know A is definitely one of them. So, C. Okay. And then... Smash you? Think of any others? I'm just trying to remember what they history. were. Um, <laughs> history is definitely one, so was that E? History, history is history one. E. No, history is one, four. no manga characters is one. So um, ACC? Okay, I'll give the point to Nintendo and Smash you, yes, is ACD. ACD. Yeah. 
So what was again? It had to be. I'm just curious. It had to be history, the creation uh, mission, and one game. No manga no characters. Manga. Oh yeah, no manga characters. I got that one specific. I love that one. No. <laughs> what was what was the context? Just real quick, um, with the history one. The history one that comes from his brawl emails, where he replies um, to some questions from Japanese fans, and um, he says that the character has to include some history with them. Um, basically, he said all three of these in that email context. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, we can Next question. <laughs> Number six. What unique gameplay element to Brawl was cut during its development, not featured previously? Okay, smashed you. Tripping. No. Really? Oh. Uh, during what its development, uh, Soma. Yeah. Uh, the the equipment degradation. Yes. Wow. Oh Which yeah. Is... Nice feeling. Well, I never knew that. Moss. When their mouth break and stuff. When like Captain Falcon's oh! helmet breaks. And oh, that's right. right. Okay. It's, it's really like a weird, okay. even worse version of Rage, where the longer you survive, the like the worse you get. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. And he he deliberately <laughs> was just like, the better you are, the worse I'm gonna make you, to like even <laughs> the playing field. Yeah, and uh, thanks to S Soma for that translation, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why. I oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Next one. All right. Number seven. Cool things to say. What characters were for Smash 64? What? Sorry, say that again. One more time. What characters scrapped for Smash 64? Oh. Okay. Uh, Smash two. Uh, Mewtwo, DDD, and Bowser. Yes. No, and Correct. Marth as well, isn't it? Marth wasn't worked on. Oh, right. Just worked on. Okay. Woo. I thought Ganondorf was, too. I guess I was mistaken. No, Ganondorf was Ganondorf's... not worked on in okay. Smash 64. Yeah. I think he was just added just because he was like, like Captain Falcon. I think was the reason, right? He, <laughs> he was added point, into but... Melee because he was actually the one of the highest um, voted Zelda characters in if there were a true, Smash yeah. 2 pull. Oh, okay. And yeah. then um, he was added because he fit into the uh, Captain Falcon model that they used yeah, in the Space World. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the roster for Smash 64 was uh, finalized before Ocarina of Time came out. So yeah, Ganondorf and... wasn't even officially a character at that point. It was just Ganon. Yeah, they used some better footage of Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Right. Yeah, a lot of those on. What characters were the fighting alloy team based on in Brawl? Okay, no. uh, Nintendo? Uh, I believe it's um, Captain Falcon, mm -hmm. Zelda, Kirby, mm -hmm. and Mario? Yep. Correct. Wow, nice. nice. <laughs> I would have known that for Melee, not for, not for Brawl, because Brawl is like four, right? So. Yeah. yeah, well I'm pretty sure it's the same ones from Melee and then Kirby and Mario thrown on. I remember there's a yeah, small yeah. circular one and then a, just a short guy. So, <laughs> narrow it down. All right. What three series have had the most? Um. Oh God. Sorry. I thought that said which three series have had the most amount of ass trophies. Really <laughs> <laughs> what three series have had the most amount of assist trophies in Smash for Wii U slash 3DS? Coming soon. Okay. To uh, Smash two. Um, I want to say it's Mario. Zelda and Kirby. No, no, it's not Kirby. <sighs> <sighs> okay, the, um, the other team. Oh man, I no idea. I mean, Double sorry, team's not... right. Double right, team's right. I'm sorry. Maybe Ma Mario, Zelda. No oh, man. Uh, I can't. I can't think of another. Mario. Wait, Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon. No, uh, assist oh, trophies, not not Pokeballs. I'm oh, that's true. Who else has more? Yeah. Shit. Right. The, the chat is helping I, you out. Oh, I'm out yeah. Do you know, do you know uh, Nintendo? Yeah, yeah, I know. I knew what it was. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Again, dang it. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Metroid. Yeah. Yeah. So, Metroid Mario, is three. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, shoot. It was, so it's Mario's other metric. Nah, dang it. I don't know. I was yeah, thinking, Kirby I was thinking, like, Kirby has two. Kirby has nine. Yeah, I was thinking those two. two. And I, I felt like I feel like I had one more, but I probably not. I'm wrong. No. Yeah, Kid Icarus right. has two as well. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Price yeah. Kickers doesn't have more, actually. Yeah. I feel like that one should have a ton. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, and so... No, but no Medusa and no Hades. Weird. Rip. The next question is the last one for the challenge and level. Challenge. Then we have two more levels. Uh, so it gets harder. Two more levels. What the heck? There's so many questions. The right you we may not, we'll probably won't get through them all, but yeah. we might get through the next round. So, oh, I just read this question. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> what character did Xander Mobus say he had the most difficult time pronouncing? Also, I hate you for having to make me refer to myself in... <laughs> <laughs> Ash, <laughs> is it real? I mean, it is now, but that's not what's written down. Okay, uh, okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't know. Okay, I just uh, because of what you said earlier. Well, if he says uh, you now, then that oh, we can change the answer. It was originally Jigglypuff's Japanese name, Purin, Purin. Which, oh, I, okay. which was my personal help, but Ryu's Japanese name was about 20 minutes and me just apologizing over and over again for how <laughs> terrible I was. <laughs> what is this job for Isn't his name huh? Ryu? It's just Ryu. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. It's, okay. it's oh. Ryu, but it's said differently and they kept being like, no, it's like an Ellen and R had a baby. And I'd be like, Ryu! Like, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so, I was about to say, I thought I was listening, um, actually. Like, look, so much, do you want to say it real is. quick? Since, yeah. Okay. Uh, I can know. Wait, wait, what? One more time. Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain. Ew. It's just like... It, it, the best way I can describe it is by the end, it kind of sounded like I was gonna barf, but then was afraid to commit to barfing. <laughs> like, <laughs> so good. I imagine if you have to be the announcer, just like recording these lines gives you like very strong semantic sediation, where everything just sounds like not a word at this point. Oh, after yeah. Like, no, with it that, happens to be after like five recorded, words. I, oh, I, I hate both of them so much. <laughs> so much. Jigglypuff uh, in was... French is pretty funny. It's like rondu do or something. Yeah, it's rondu do, rondu do. Well, and it's it's weird because most of the other Japanese names were pretty easy. So then those two, I was like, oh, they're one word. They don't look that hard to pronounce. Purin. Uh, I, I think R, R and L sounds are just the hardest for Japanese people to say in English in general. That's like kind of where like the stereotypical like Asian accent has a lot of problems with R's and L's. You know, like hello. 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 Right. Well, I'm kidding. guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You've graduated to the difficult level. Jeez. Oh, Are God. you prepared? With yeah. question one. What stages were considered for Smash Wii U in 3DS, but were dropped? A. A stage based on Majora's Mask. B. A stage based on Kirby's epic yarn that looks like yam. Sorry. <laughs> C. A stage based on Super Mario Land. D. A stage based on Tetris. E. A stage based on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Okay, Smash Two. So it's just um, B and C. So epic yarn and Mario Land. Mario Land. Yep. Nice. Oh, man, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby is what threw me off. <laughs> too, yeah. too soon for that. Yeah. Was there a Super Mario Land stage? Oh, that was a Game the Boy stage. Yeah, 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 that, that was Game awesome. Boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Instead of the awful Kirby one we got. I actually don't like the Kirby one. I actually like the Kirby one. I like yeah, a lot of just, it was a disappointment, though, just because it had the potential to be, like, an amazing stage, and it was whatever. Mm, that's kind of true, yeah. <laughs> I remember Sakurai wanted a galaxy stage in Brawl, or like he was about to, right? Something like that? I a, think it was galaxy. A galaxy? Hmm. Yeah, like he he wanted, he would have, I think he said he would have put one in if he had known about galaxy being in development, but he wasn't in like, co like constant communication with Nintendo, mm -hmm. so he didn't like know about it ah. until it was too late. Did That's like that? one of those un- it's like one of those untranslated things, though, I think. so. Like, okay. Was that the huge yeah. interview? <laughs> yeah, it's like eight pages. I'm yeah. just like super late. Yeah. That one that we're still waiting for. <laughs> one, day. one day. One day. Anyway. One day. All right. 
What third-party company has the most representation in Smash for Wii U and 3DS? Okay, Ash. Uh, Capcom. Or, mm. yeah. Uh, we, we mean representation as, like, anything, like... Oh, you mean, like, I think well, you just make characters. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like it's what Capcom is Sega. Um, overall? Yes. You mean, like, in terms of characters, stages, assist trophies? Everything. Like, any okay. any kind of referenced... Then I want to say Sega. No. Oh. All right. Oh. It's uh must be, it'll be Namco Bandai, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it? Wow. Well, okay. because Pac-Man, Pac-Man's Taunt has like six or seven different video games that it references. Oh, and, you're okay. and then there's the Namco, Namco music Melody as well references. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. thinking about taunts. I was thinking about okay. I see. Well, also items too, Namco and there's two enemies Taunt in Smash Runs. Yeah, there's two enemies in Smash Run and two Which, items. Can I, by the way, I hate that stupid one. That the the one from Galaga. That's the worst thing ever. That thing's stupid. Because you always, in that mode, you always jump up, so it will appear in front of you, appear where you're jumping. God, some I I, I can complain hey, about Sakurai. Hey, hey, design. I love hey. Sakurai. I hate his enemy design. Hey, that's not I, from Galaga. That's from Xevious. Okay, I'm sorry. It's from. <laughs> Sand. You're right. right. I don't know. I mix them up. Galaga's okay. Next question. All right. You win. What NES character was set to appear in melee or melee as an item? Okay, smash you. Uh, Sokopon? I think it's how oh, you say that thing. Yeah. Yes. We were literally talking about this yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, correct, yeah. sir. Yeah, I don't so even know what Sokopon is. I have to, like, like, I googled it. It's literally five Kirby's, but... <laughs> <I think it's> <laughs> <five>. <laughs> Kirby, Kirby fused with Rayman. It really sure. is. It, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> All right. Six? Wouldn't it be six Kirby's? Oh, oh yeah, yeah right. I can't, six. Counting, is, counting is very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what track is featured for air? Er, what track is featured on multiple levels in Melee? Um, Smash uh, Nintendo. Oh, did I say? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, music track. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah music track. Um, Not. Oh. It's not the Fire Emblem theme, is it? No, it's not. Damn. I think that's only on Temple. Okay. It is. I only play. Stuff. I only play on six stages, so I don't. Okay, know Ash. Anything. Is it Mute City? <laughs> Mute City? No. Ah. No. What's the answer then? I think it's a Zelda stage, but. I don't the the chat knows. Zelda um, song. it's. Oh. Doc- yeah. Oh, no, what level? Oh, yeah. oh what Mario. levels are they on then? Um, they're featured on. I think what was it the what the one of the Mario stages, and then I think it's both Mushroom Kingdom yeah. one and two, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Does it really? Uh, my, only, it both my only other thought was Macrider, maybe. I all I know it's on Ice Core Mountain, but it could have been on another one. I, I really do miss Star. Mushroom Kingdom too. That game's the same as awesome. Subcon. Uh, right, yeah, Subcon. Subcon was such a great stage. It so was. It's so awesome. It's so yeah. fun. There are quite a few melee stages that I'd like to come back. Termina That's... and Foresight are another two. Termina, actually, I love that stage. We should mm. just talk about that. Let's just talk about melee <laughs> stages. Uh, let's, I still don't let's... understand why Corneria is on the 3DS version, but not on the Wii version. It's yeah, just... It because the Great Fox is part of uh, the stupid Orbital Assault stage that's awful I, and terrible. And that was it. probably the actual reason. I actually <laughs> like that stage, too. Uh, I think, I think that's the probably the reason, yeah. Alright, next, sta- next stage. <laughs> next stage. Alrighty. What's on the Smash Dollars? This was our... Uh, Okay. This was <laughs> our daily trivia like two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, uh, Smash You. Is it Nintendo's off corporate offices? And there's one more thing. Oh, mm, it's a picture of some Japanese guy. I feel like it's like the guy that's normally on the money. Like, there's the money, and you normally have this guy. He's on, like, the ten, I think he's on the 10,000. He's gotta be the guy in the 10,000. No. <laughs> there is a guy, and it's... <laughs> he's like wearing a puppy shirt. He's like wearing this weird, like, like 1800s, like, thing. <laughs> All right. So, so the other team, then. Yeah. 
God, I so. <laughs> it's a Japanese. I don't even know. I, I think the, the I, Nintendo headquarters bit is right, but I don't know who else. Yeah. Uh, is it like Miyamoto or something? Like no, it's not Miyamoto. <laughs> Uh, never put his own, oh, is, never it, put his is, own is it Iwata? It's not Iwata. Okay. Yeah. okay uh, it's the Monopoly Man. The Monopoly Man is the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I meant to say it. What is the correct answer? It's uh, Sakurai. Oh, oh my Sakurai. god. <laughs> I swear, I, th I thought it was like... I thought it was some famous Japanese guy. I like, it's it is be a famous <laughs> Japanese guy. <laughs> I, 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 you people oh, talking know. out loud, I was like, Sakai would never put himself on like money, yeah. would he? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> There's no way Sakura would put his own face in the game. I feel game. like there's gotta be like some level of ego. I'm gonna be on the money, not this Japanese guy. I so seriously thought you guys were fucking with me there. <laughs> like as soon as he said some Japanese guy, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, God, I, I don't have any, I don't have any yen on me, I, I don't think I don't have the bills, but I swear it was this, there's like, you get the money and you get like the picture of like the guy in like a really nice, like 1800s, like he's going to lead a charge with of muskets. Yeah. Gonna... We should move on to the next question. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, All right. we don't have much time. We can at least finish up this round. All right. Number six, what masterpiece was left on the cutting room floor within Smash for Wii U? Okay, Smash 2. Oh my god. Smash 64. Yes. Oh my god. You are correct, oh sir. Oh my god. Uh, you what, 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 <laughs> what was that? What was that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Who is that? I think Mark was saying, oh my god. He's just kind of like, like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no, sir, I'm sorry. I accidentally bit, uh, like, timed out on um, the Yoshi. <laughs> Oh, wow. that, was, that was an accident. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I would try to get you back. Um, that was that was an accident. All right, so I'm gonna right. mute you. Right. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. All right, next question. <laughs> All right. Um, what stage took a whole year to make in Smash for Wii U? Okay. So, um, Ash. Oh. oh. Is it me? Okay. Yeah. There you I go. think it's. Was it maybe Orbital Gate Assault? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, where, did, where do you say that? Oh, it was the pick of the day. I think it was the pick of the day, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it was the pick of the day. There's so yeah, much stuff like every pick of the level. day. God, actually, it's actually surprising how much, a, much of the pick of the day Ash remembers. He's done all those questions, right? Well, that's because <laughs> I used to like tweet them out. I used to like actually do my own tweet every single day on my own social media accounts well, and even every on Instagram. Week so I have them ingrained in my memory. <laughs> that's true. Too. Plus, gaming's when like talked about each and every single that's one. That's true. Of them. We would do yeah. a, we would do a weekend like at the end of the week wrap up for every pick of the day every week. Yeah. I did love those videos, but <laughs> now it's the only pick of the day I remember is like the Zero Suit Samus one where he's like. Our female designer created the workout clothes costume, guys. Yes. <laughs> the I thing is, I, I will say that, that costume is actually like the most reasonable one, honestly. It's yeah. like actual clothing I could buy, not for myself, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. So that means a year was spent on the stage that like is loved the least of all the stages in the game. <laughs> like hey, not not sorry. like a full year, but it took a development year. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot in that. That stage is pretty complex. <laughs> Alright. Alright, next, next one. Right. What is Masahiro Sakurai's hobby? Okay, ah. Nintendo? Playing video games. No. Well, okay, yes, oh. but <laughs> that's one of them. Uh, <laughs> if, if someone else can get the other one. Okay, is it uh, going so... on drives? Is it going yes. on drives? Yeah, okay. Nice. I'm like I'm a, I'm a Sakurai stalker. <laughs> <laughs> I have a love for love hate relationship Animal with him. Animal husbandry. <laughs> Animal husbandry was the answer we were looking for. <laughs> God, <I just laughs> See, the, the, the one thing I remember from one of the translations of Sakurai is where he talks about going into video game stores and treating them like supermarkets. Yeah. Taking a basket and picking whichever games he thinks look right. That's great. <laughs> That's kind of funny. By the way, just talking about the animal, I feel like he's like, I really love my cat. I really love my cat. <laughs> right. Next <laughs> question. <laughs> let's let's finish this. Yeah, so okay. Xander. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Who would 
<laughs> what, did I do something wrong? What, what happened there? That was weird. Try again. Oh, I heard someone talking and then it, like, cut out, so I was like, oh, fuck. Who would be the next character added to Melee if Sakura had more time? Um, Ash. Is it King DDD? No. Ah. It's a warrior. Yes. Ah, of course. Uh-huh. King DDD was um, the misinformation. Uh, someone on NeoGaf made a fake post. Uh, like, Damn it, Gaff! And <laughs> it was accepted as fact for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Wario and Melee would be very strange. It would be like another Jigglypuff. Yeah. Actually, I don't really know how I don't know how he plays in Brawl anymore. It'd be well, a non-Wario Wario. Yeah. Uh, Wario. That's it's revenge for all those times I said I hate Wario. <laughs> <laughs> how could you hate Wario? Wario. <laughs> all right. Next question. All right. Number ten, and probably our last question for the evening. Why was L canceling not in- included in Brawl? Um, Soma. Um, basically because the Wii remote can't, like, handle that much by impressing. Yeah. I'm still gonna type this. Oh, I didn't know that. Nice. Oh. I was just gonna yeah. say because it was a glitch. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, makes sense. That was correct. So tally up the points, and who's our winner? Pretty sure it's not us. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, I'm not, I'm not even kidding, it's a tie. Really? Is it really brand new? Yeah. That's insane! Wow. That's, Wait, awesome. that's awesome! Wait. I can't believe it's a tie after all that. That's great. Do you have that's a tie well, question? <laughs> I do, but can I can yeah. Yeah. I do uh, number 10 on the master level because I'm an oh. egotistical douchebag? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, let's Go do it. for it. Alright. Alright. Tiebreaker! Name all four of the voice actors who are the announcer for Smash. Oh. oh, oh! I know there's. Oh no! Man, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like we, we've had. Inter- okay, so much. <laughs> I think it's uh like Jeff Manning, Dean Harrington, Pat Cashman, and Xander. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's wow, correct. Okay. Please right. uh, say the full name. Please say the full name for the record. <laughs> Xander Mobis. Xander Mobis, the god. <laughs> yeah. That's actually that's a good question. Oh, yeah, I didn't that's know, right. I didn't know 64s. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 64, I wasn't sure if his first name was Jeff, but I knew it was Manning. Yeah. So, but I had a, I, I thought it was Jeff, so. Nice, nice. Well, congratulations, you I would have just said the build high guy. I would just, that was Brawl. <laughs> uh, we, we have our winners. So, stand up, take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a lot I of don't fun. Hear any power. That was good though. Actually, that was tough. <laughs> yeah, no, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> it, it, it's, good that you didn't, it's good that you didn't have me do the questions because I'm like a big video game music nerd, so all of my questions would have been about various songs and various stages. Oh, that's that's something that I'm missing actually because I'm not very much a uh, music nerd. I'm more. Oh, of, okay. Uh, well, if you ever do one of these again, yeah. let me know, and I'll be happy to send you a few cool yeah, trivia yeah. questions yeah. related to the game. Definitely. Game. We should actually. Smash pub quiz music round. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> that was like we're crazy. Like, okay, I am curious. Are we gonna do the last nine with the chat? Yeah, we'll do the last nine with the chat, but we'll let uh, Xander you... and I think uh, Ash, you have to go too, right? Yes, I do. I do have to uh, head out. I'm actually going to the same dinner that James just left to go to. So, nice. <laughs> I'm going to duck out. But guys, seriously, congratulations to you guys. You honestly have some of the best content out there. And I say that, you know, working for Gaming Explained. Like, we love you guys. So, keep doing what you're doing. You guys are awesome. And happy second anniversary. And I can't yeah, wait thanks. to see what you do in your third year. Uh, thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely nothing. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> and thank you guys again for inviting me. I had a great time. Take care. Right. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Actually, that 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 said, okay. I feel like there is. I, I know I have some decent stuff that I want to work on in the year three. Yeah. So I need to finish. I, I know one of them will not make Ash happy, but it, it will be a good. It'll be a really really good one. Spazzy <laughs> um, won't either. Spazzy won't, isn't gonna like it. But... All, All right, right, fellers, I gotta take off. Well, was, thank you so well. much for joining us, Sander. It's thank really you. been thank a pleasure. Me. It was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. No, I'm glad. <laughs> I, I still have to say that the other, the 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 casual announcer voice is much better than the regional announcer voice. I found that. Oh, <laughs> well, about thank you. Kind of <laughs> All right, so I'm in Belmont forever.
time back on forever. Thank you guys again. Uh, congrats on your anniversary. You guys were fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, I will I will catch y'all on the flip side. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Peace. Have a good day. See ya. All right. He's, he's so totally so trying we, to crash that dinner that Ash and uh and Jamie are going to. <laughs> oh man. I was actually uh, that's kinda that's kinda cool. I feel a little jealous now. It's like you get to do all these cool gaming dinners. Actually I wanna say one thing about You don't um, know it's a gaming right? dinner, they're friends. I don't know, I'm just they guessing. Do, it could be whatever. They it could do be other things. They just casually get dinner together, they wear life. they get dressed up and they have some champagne. <laughs> um I, I will say one thing, and this is something I wanted to write about, like oh, but it never happened. Uh just kinda busy. Like people don't realize how much like work is done behind the scenes, especially like I know like E three is a lot of stuff done. But, like, I saw, like, um, Game Explain, like, the second day. They were always in, like, that media room doing stuff. So, yep. like, they work pretty hard. Like, you got to give props to these guys. They worked harder than we did. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's, yeah, like, events like that are actually pretty exhausting, just running around and trying to catch as much as you can. They are. Oh, yeah, like, no, uh, I was important. pretty surprised with um, Bit Summit. Like, um, I went around, like, standing in line, playing video games, talking to developers, and then, like, by, like three-fourths of the day, I was just like, oh my god, I'm dying. Yeah, it is relaxing to just be done. It's like, oh god, it's done. The worst was, I had to go back to work. Like, so literally, like, I got on a... This is, like, the worst thing ever. I literally got on a flight at, like, 12 o'clock. Flight back to Tampa. Or Orlando to drive back to Tampa. And I slept for an hour to go work. And basically, I just, like... And I was actually, like, ahead of that assignment. So I was, like... I was basically tired. And basically, everyone else did whatever they wanted. And I was trying to make it through the rest of my day. <laughs> it was the uh, worst. Yeah. God. I don't mean to cut into the conversation. But I just want to say this. I feel bad for Niyoshi. I accidentally timed him out. And then Nibron accidentally banned him for 24 hours. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Epic. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. oh, that's what that's the old God of God thing was. Oh, okay, it makes a little more sense now. Hey, hey, uh, Omni. Hey, what's up? Um, so, so how cool was it to uh, hear one of the people that's involved with uh, something that you you did a Smashify for uh, say that everybody at the company loved it? <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, no, I didn't expect. I w- I didn't know he was actually going to be here, so it was a little bit. Yeah, well, he was actually kind of a uh, last minute. We invited him, and then like he was like, he sent me a message this morning. He's like, I I can come. And I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, no, that was super cool. I I really appreciate his work on uh, on the Shante games for sure, and it's really cool to be able, like like that and uh, the guys who were behind uh, Freedom Planet. We were able to work with them directly, so just yeah. knowing that. They're happy with the product. Is also is always very encouraging. Yeah, and you you have like lots of uh, new characters coming out soon, right? Y- yes, we yeah. always have characters coming out soon. <laughs> In fact, one of them sort of leaked on Twitter, but that was never going to be helped because we had it at a panel at SmashCon. So yeah. if you look uh, hard, you'll yeah. be able to find some pre-final yeah. images of the next character. But I'm not going to say who it is because I don't want to spoil it for people who don't want it to be spoiled. Yeah, I've seen that. I saw Etika's reaction to it. <laughs> that was pretty so great. That's how I found it. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, I, like, I do like this. Um, what is uh, so? I I ask you, Ani. What is the one of uh, um, what is the one character? You know, because you've done all these characters. What is the one that you would actually would want to be in the game? Hold Bomberman. On, I need to think. Well, I definitely Bomberman. Um, Bomberman would be cool. Oh, I actually Bomberman. started. I started forgetting who we've done. <laughs> so I have to like <laughs> open the website and look at the roster on the front page. The blue room. Yeah, you, you guys have done quite a bit. It's only been a year. Yeah, yeah it's uh, seventeen characters, I think. Yeah. The correct oh. answer was Captain Toad. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Hmm. Yeah, seventeen uh, yeah, was... and a half because of Captain. Yeah, Toad. That's still pretty good. Yeah. They have they've been, they've been pretty good. I would say yeah, probably Bomberman or Inkling. I actually was pretty convinced that Inkling was gonna be. A DLC character. A lot of people, it, yeah, it a, lo- a lot of us whooped it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. wrote about it actually. I thought it was like, kinda, made sense, but they're kind of a marquee character for the next game, though. Yeah. They, oh yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Heck, even it, I think with the ballot, I think probably King Carol or Dix can also have one of those two. Probably have a good yeah. chance. At least one of but them. But that's mainly because of the ballot. Yeah. I mean, I'd be down right. for King Carol. It'd be awesome. 
Like, and at least one one character from Assassin's Creed. I don't know which one. (laughs) (laughs) That was that was amazing. That that push. Where did did you uh, happen Mm -hmm. to to catch that when Xander was talking about it? About what? I'm sorry. The fake names that he said. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about that. They actually did use Uh, a. I didn't. I didn't catch all of that because I was in the other room. But I I heard you guys talking about Assassin's Creed Five. Yeah, I'll I'll take Fassbender for Smash (laughs) Five. Which do now? Michael Fassbender. Yeah, just him as a person, uh, as a normal human Mike, being. Who's Michael? <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like some like avatar, like Michael Fassbender. He bends me. You're not the, 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 the critically acclaimed actor Michael Fassbender. You know, Magneto. He's, I don't know Hollywood actors. I don't watch Hollywood. <laughs> he's playing. Yeah, he's playing the main character in the Assassin's Creed movie. Okay. Okay. Uh, with, uh, I, I really do not know. I really do not know like movie actors. And stuff. Oscar, yeah, Oscar so nominated this. actor Michael Fassbender. Nope. <laughs> Not he's at in all. the X Men. He's in the X Men movies. He's in Twelve Years a Slave. Um, he Prometheus. was Steve Jobs, wasn't he? In that Steve Jobs movie? Yes, he was. No, he plays. So he plays behind. young Magneto in the X Men films. Okay. I am so behind the movies. There's like a little like, kind of list. Of movies it's okay. Every movie this summer was awful. Every movie this summer was awful. <laughs> Not everyone. Really? Civil War was fun. Civil War was like spring, right? Or was it May? Yeah, Civil War was like okay. March. Yeah. Civil War was people, good. Yeah. People right. loved um, Suicide Squad. I know that. Like Suicide Squad, everyone's all was all about that. No, 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 no I heard it was, was I heard it was awful. Suicide Squad was the <laughs> worst <laughs> movie I've ever seen. No, I mean I've never seen. It. I can't judge. It, but don't people think about people it. If you don't, if, if you don't think about the plot in any way, <laughs> don't, don't think about Suicide it. It's not perfectly enjoyable. The minute, Just the minute don't you think like. Like, there's clear, like, plot points in that movie that do not make sense. Like, I was watching it, and then the next day I was talking to people at work, and I'm like, you, you guys don't even remember this because they liked it? I'm like, so the Suicide Squad is, like, being flown in, and then they get shot down by, by machine gun fire, but there's, like, energy blasts and, like, demons or something. Where'd the machine gun fire come from? Nobody it fires their machine it's gun like, fire. Suicide Squad doesn't make any sense, but I also think, like, Suicide Squad, it's like, I don't know anything about movie editing. But after seeing that movie, I was like, so this is what a badly edited movie feels like. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's very cool stuff that should be there that isn't. Maybe a director's cut will fix some of it. Mm. Yeah, from what I understand, the editing of that movie had to go... Like, they, they underwent a lot of editing just because... And reshoots, yeah. Yeah. Because okay, so here's what I here's what I think happens. So like David Ayer's like type of movie is like dark, gritty war slash gangster films, right? That's what Fury and like End of Watch and like all his good movies are about. So I'm pretty sure that's what this movie was. But then they're like, this is too dark. We have to like just make it funny and colorful somehow. So they came out with that weird like ballroom blitz trailer, which everyone's like, this is awesome, and they're like, shit, this isn't what the movie is like at all. So then they had to reshoot like half the movie, and then they like, edit, they like, literally the first 15 minutes has like a bunch of neon like graphics for no reason, and the rest of the movie is just gray. Gray and more gray. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like if somebody took a Xerox copy of Guardians of the Galaxy and then a Hot Topic vomited on top of it. That's kind of the movie. <laughs> I love that. I, it was, actually, it was fun that. though. Like Harley Quinn was all right, although I don't, I don't like how sexual they made the character. And I think Margot Robbie is very attractive. But that's not like what the character of Harley Quinn's about. Right. And it's like the best Harley is like post Joker emancipated Harley, right? But I yeah. guess they have to kind of show like the, the first stage to get to the second stage. I don't know. I'm I'm sure she's gonna get her own solo movie since she's just super popular. Yeah. And I guess like. Katana, like female Asian character. Was oh nice. no 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 no! But no, but Katana was was Katana was literally that was her character in the movie. Hey, we need another female and another ethnic character. Put Katana. In. She she didn't even make any like logical sense why she was there. They didn't explain it. She, she anything. definitely got like something cut out because like like I guess what's his name Rick Flag was just like oh this is my friend Katana shows up and then like <laughs> they, they needed her. Literally, I think the the reason why her existence is justified is because they need her magic sword. <laughs> but they don't need her magic sword. She, she's just like, this is just like my, my, my buddy. She's going to help us on this mission. That was literally her explanation. And right. Like, well, they didn't, Rock, know, they didn't Killer know Rock they needed the character. magic sword. They didn't know they needed the magic sword, but they did use it at the very end. Yeah. So like, Killer, That's plot, Killer, plot armor. Plot sword. Killer, yeah. Killer Croc was literally just there. Like, there's literally... I mean, I guess he's Killer Croc at the same time. But, like... If you cut if you cut Killer Croc and Captain Boomerang out of that movie, 
changes nothing. That's how you know how Honestly, like, the character is. Captain Brimring was like my favorite character just because he, he was, was unabashedly just himself and not weird in any way. Except for he's like... like a douchebag. That's, that's, yeah. Like, he's, he's not... The thing about Captain Boomerang, I love the character of Captain Boomerang, but the whole thing about him is that he's not like an evil guy. He's not like, you know, like an intrinsically evil guy, but he's also not a good person. He's just like a scumbag. That's the character. He's a scumbag that thinks he can fight the fastest man alive with a boomerang. There. <laughs> he's also a brony. In this, in this movie, he's literally a brony. <laughs> yes. That's, that's, like a, that's like part of his character. Like, he carries around a pink unicorn. And he yes. goes looking for it at points in the movie. It's just really? bizarre. The movie is random, dude. And Jared, oh, Jared so Leto's Joker is also random. That. It's, it's like, LOL, it's not random. Oh, they didn't expect that. It's, it's like high school humor. It's like totally, totally No, cool. it's not It's not like that. It's just... Okay. You, you have to watch it. It's just... there's like <laughs> if, if you try to break down... First of all, as far as character development goes, Diablo, Harley, and... Um, Deadshot? And Deadshot were yeah were everything, and uh, and Deadshot is really good if you like Will Smith. He was Will Smith did a great Will Smith. Oh, that's uh, good. Okay. I'm glad he can play himself. All right, uh, guys, let's uh, open the chat for questions. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. And then like yeah, if like um. I didn't mean to get distracted, but Suicide Squad is just so appalling. <laughs> 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 we'll we'll do well, a, we'll do a full sor source cast episode on it. Yeah, if you guys have any yeah. questions about Suicide Squad, uh, we're probably like, also <laughs> spoiling the hell out of that movie for these people. So yeah, just you know, feel free to ask. I'm just saying, being no, a please. DC like being a DC DC fan is like kind of like a Nintendo fan. Like you want them <laughs> to do well, but then they just consistently do stupid things, and you're just like, stop, please stop. <laughs> but like they still make good games, which is kind of like how their the comics are still good, but then their movies are just like. Not appealing to the mass audience. I'm just like, oh my god, why? But yeah. Anyway, yeah. Let's open the chat up to questions. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If there's no questions, um, what does uh, what does Archie? Let's do the rest. Of, we can just do the trivia. Yeah, we can do. Do the, we can do the rest of the trivia real quick too. Yeah. Well, we wait well, for the first trivia. Our, our first question is: Will Smith was good as Deadshot? No. <laughs> 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 I think they made. Death shot a little too sympathetic. I mean, he is a ridiculous assassin. But anyways, how about Sausage Party? Um, I want I to see it. Party. Yeah, I heard it was better than you think it would be. It's less... It... Really? Because that's, that's the film I heard wasn't that good. I heard it was pretty... I know it's got controversy around it, but even regardless of that, I heard that Sausage Party wasn't that good a film. Doctor Strange has... Uh, our, my thoughts on Doctor Strange is it has too much of um, um, Inception vibes from the trailer. Like... I hope it's more actual mystic magic and not just weird buildings and dimensions folding on each other. I don't Vaguely know. annoyed by Tilda Swinton playing what was an Asian character, but I'm over it, and I don't care about Marvel films anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I will watch pretty whatever Fair Goblet enough. films. All right, uh, All right. We actually got, uh, we got a legit question from... Uh, not, not, not that yeah, the other questions well, we weren't legit, but uh, a <laughs> Smash-related question. Yeah, uh, where's the banana d bandana d smash if I <laughs> No, no. <probably. laughs> <laughs> uh, now, she, uh, now she he asked uh, for artsy. Uh, out of all the renders you made, which one did you have the most fun with? Hmm, good question. Hmm, that's hard. I guess it's the one that I don't hate right now, because I always end up hating the ones before the most current one. <laughs> um, yes. Most fun, I would probably say Kumatora, just because I was learning so much during that process, uh, doing like a 3D character, mo like 95% by myself. So, definitely that one. Yeah, and you had a whole uh, Earthbound month too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that was good. That did was, you, uh, a, get a lot a of people were really it? annoyed by the end of that, but uh, <laughs> it ended up, ended up being like two months, uh, technically spanning across to like three months if you count the end and beginning, but... <laughs> Uh, Mother doesn't get as much love as it needs, so no, I'm no, okay with that. <laughs> yeah. and and I, re I really like the Eve trophy. Anything from Mother 1, especially being made in, as a 3D model. It's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would love Mother 1 just to be uh, properly remade and given more differentiation as far as looks go from Earthbound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I kid. 
<laughs> if you if you yeah. did want that game, like how would you want it to be represented? Would you want it to be sort of in the same style as Mother Three, or like that kind of sixteen bit look? Th- or honestly, you, do you remember the old commercials or the old uh, artwork for yeah. Mother? I would love a yeah. game kind of in that style, like the clay kind yeah. of yeah. Like or... claymation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know that would be really cool. Yeah, would uh, actually. It seems like the sort of thing Nintendo would do. I mean, you know, with what with their yarn and their actual clay Kirby game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo yeah. loves I've... to make things out of things. Like that's they're like we gotta make this character out of something in the real world. Paper clips. Um, uh, F zero paper clips. <laughs> <laughs> with game. like um. I really did. did you guys listen to the uh, interview with the Game Explain on um, Paper Mario? Um, uh, the director was uh, like, well, we, we wanted did, yeah. for Color Splash, we wanted like a unique draw to um for the art style and so we decided i actually wrote about that one yeah um so it's it's that one actually that's the one where i think and it's part of it is that if you actually look at the people be surprised mario and luigi actually does better in terms of numbers except for the most recent one but like bowser's inside story and dream team actually did better like dream team actually did better than sicker started oh yeah but but here's here's the deal how much of that is related to the fact how much of that is attributed to the fact that it's being released on handhelds? I mean, I know Sticker I mean, Star did, but Sticker Star had its own backlash. The uh, handheld hand, handhelds always have a much larger install base than uh, look at the well, look at the well, Game the Boy reason... uh, the Game Boy Color to the N sixty four. Look at the Game Boy Advance to the GameCube. That's ridiculous. The look at the DS. Yeah, at, sorry. The problem is you have Sticker Star and that's the problem with that analogy is that you have Sticker Star and you have Dream Team both on a handheld, both on the same system, so one did better than the other. That's kind of where that I think that, that falls flat a little bit. I think that's what they're, they're struggling with. I think the problem is intelligent systems is at a crossroads where they're like, this series does better, how do we define our series? I think they're just going about it wrong. They're, they're thinking that, so the problem is I think that Mario, the new Mario, uh, Paper Mario games aren't really an RPG. They're this weird game about fighting toads and like like graphics and stuff. So they, I, think that's, I think that's a big problem. I think Color Splash is actually going to do very, very badly. Uh, as a result of that, I think that I think the backlash isn't as like people don't think about because they think about backlash, they think of, like Bug or Solid Survive, and they think of like Federation Force. But like Color Splash actually has a lot of people upset, and there's a lot of YouTube videos about it. So I feel like, and, and with you already have a course, small core series like that, you're going to see that if, if you piss off the core, which they've kind of done, well, then like how are you going to sell the game? Because you're going to sell the Wii U only sold. Off of regardless, it's li- it's like the last game coming out on Wii U. It's yeah, the Wii U was done. Yeah, it was never going to. Well, never going to be a success. Pa- well, Paper Mario 64 actually didn't do that badly, actually, for being like one of the last games of the 64. It didn't do as well as most other games on the Nintendo 64, though. I mean, and the Nintendo uh, 64. Yeah. It, it broke a million. It did have good, it did have good sales of the N64 did. Well, I mean, Smash came out at the end of the N64's life and had some really good sales. I think it was like in the top five most sold N64 games, and that came out in 1999. It did sell like five million. It sold a lot. It sold five million. That was pretty good. Yeah. That's my thoughts on it. I'm kind of rambled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what are what are our thoughts on Zendaya as Mary Jane? Is that a <laughs> I definitely don't think Paper Mario on N64 sold 5 million units. Yes! No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, Super Smash Bros. sold 5 million. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think Paper Mario is like 1.5. Yeah, it's like close close to that. Uh, we're like, waiting remember, for a uh, Super I mean, Giant fighting robot game. Mega Man? No, no, uh, <laughs> this, no uh, people in the chat, sorry. They were, they were talking about the Wii U's last game. Oh, oh, I think that's going to come out robot, on the NX. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's going to come out on the NX, actually. That's oh, my really? theory. Everyone's favorite game, Project Giant Robot. Yeah. They should just straight up call it Project Giant Robot. I'm surprised that wasn't actually another actually. Star Fox. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, it's true. I mean, it didn't, I feel like that game either will become like a small mini game on the NX, like a launch kind of title for the NX, or it will be part of another game, probably the latter. Does anyone Make remember it how that played? Make it Kirby Robobot game. <laughs> that would be great, actually. <laughs> Does anyone no, remember how that game played? Yeah, you got you customized yeah. like three parts of a robot, and then I think on the TV, it had a bit of the Star Fox feel. So on the TV screen, you saw the fight going on. On the gamepad, it was like from the robot's point of view. Depending on where you put the eyes on the robot, depended on you know where you were looking out of it. And then you press buttons to punch. I think that was right, about it. Here's the deal: if the if the N, I don't know if that would come out on the NX. If the NX is doing away with uh, the importance of the dual screen, because that's kind of what that's Maybe. about. Mm. Well, I mean, the, 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 the gamepad 
functionality in Project Giant Robot is pretty minimal. You just look through the robot's point of vision. I mean, it wasn't really required in Star Fox Zero either, seeing as Star Fox 64 and Star Wing also had the exact same feature. You could choose to look in the cockpit if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, it could easily be moved over, I think. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> do you want to do the, the um, remaining Smash trivia that we didn't get to answer? See if sure. any of us can get it. There was like, <laughs> what, nine questions left? Yeah. So, um, this one, uh, these are actually all very, very challenging. Um, anyone, so we'll see. anyone can jump in, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just talk over each other like it's... Na- like, name, yeah. like that. Name, name two <laughs> modes that were originally planned for melee. Oh, I'm not. um, oh, for melee. Yeah. Um, oh, eight player smash is one of those, I think. Yeah, that's well, that's oh, one. Oh yeah. Uh, Somewhere you did both these translations. Co-op adventure, <laughs> co-op adventure, or co-op classic mode. Uh, nope. I knew eight player. I don't. This, the, the other one is a very minor thing that uh, was mentioned in the, I believe it was Nintendo Dream interview, like the second part. It had like a one line. You could build a Smash robot. Mode. You build your Smash robot. Create it. Create it. Create a stage. Stage builder. No. Uh, was it like a weird trophy mini game? Yes. Was it like a weird trophy? Uh... Yes. It was a weird trophy game that we've never heard of before. Uh, trophy battles. <laughs> Trophy battles. Uh, Actually, this I mean, was really no. cool. I'm surprised they didn't do that. that. No, 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 no. That's probably why they have those stages where you fight on top of the trophies. That's probably a relic of that. Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh right. Think, actually, I, well, um, he, yeah, Sakurai said that he um had the idea in the project plan, but I don't think he ever really worked on it. Yeah, he said like um, he. It was like we had something called trophy battle, but like it just didn't work out. And then they were like, "What's that?" And he was like, "Oh, I'll never tell you." <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, that's wonderful. Uh, I feel like I would love a stage in Smash if they literally would just fight on random trophies, because that was really cool in the melee. Yeah, was a poker poker oh, yeah, yeah, that was with trophies. My, my oh, theory, oh, oh. trophy battles eventually became amiibo. That's my yeah, theory. Can... But, uh, I mean, there's no way of knowing, of course. Because Sakura mm. hasn't said anything. <laughs> yeah. Sakura hasn't said Oh, well. What else is new? Next. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Um, who did Sakurai marry and when? The his woman wife. who does the <laughs> the woman who does the Mom. UI on his games. Michigo yeah, Sakurai and stuff. Yep. Michigo. Yeah. I mean, that's that's right. her, that wasn't her name before she got married. Was what was what was? Do you know her name before she got married? Was yes. it like Ando or something? No, uh, Takahashi. Oh. oh, you're right. Oh. Okay, sorry. Right. Oh, Takashi. Takashi. Was it in like 2003? No. 2009. Late. Earlier. Earlier than nine or earlier than three? Um, it's in between three and nine. But um, here I'll just Thanks. tell you the answer because it's gonna be just a shooting fish in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's okay. June two thousand eight. It was right after um, Brawl was finished. Oh, okay. They celebrated Brawl's release. And uh, Michiko Takahashi, she worked on three or two of the stages in Smash sixty four. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, we know that for sure she did the metal, uh, Mario stage. metal Mario stage and the Mushroom Kingdom stage. Then okay. I haven't found confirmation, but she might have worked on Yoshi's Island. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Didn't know that. I knew she did. Does does she? She does do the menus and stuff. The UI. Yeah, and yeah. She does. She games, designs yeah. the menus. Yeah, that's all I knew. Yeah, right. I, miss, I miss Brawl's menus where there's like this giant machine in the background. I always like that about that game in Kirby's Air Ride. There's just like big <laughs> random things in the background and it's like this machine or something. It's like, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, okay. Brawl, menus have, quiet, Brawl yeah. menus look like nicer in the background. Melee menus look like you're trapped in the Matrix. <laughs> I, just like, I like Melee though too. I always like the look of Melee. But then like Smash 4, now everything like flies at you. That's the menu. I don't like the Smash Bros. menu. I, I think that's a pretty common mm. opinion, though, right? Yeah. People don't uh, really yeah. like that. I'm not a big yeah. fan of the UI in Smash it's 4. Not very fun. I actually like the UI in Smash 4. It's not organized. Yeah, the menu only... layout is pretty awful. The Stuff's like, stuff event... is on the front page that... Yeah, there's, I mean, there's logic to it, but it's just not great. The only thing yeah, I get yeah, annoyed logic. with is um, <laughs> the event page on online mode. The, there's an incomplete capsule. Oh yeah, that is a, that is annoying. So it seems like they had more planned and then just didn't. It's just what is it tournament and then that's it. 
tournament and um, the s conquest, I think it's called in English. Yeah, yeah. conquest. Yeah. Uh, what I don't like about Sm no, what annoys me about the menu stuff is the fact that you get what that um, achievement page on the that's uh, on the front menu, but customs is like locked away behind two different yeah. screens. The customs and it makes no sense. The custom really should have been um, on the front. No, on the character select screen too. So that way you yeah, can change it on the fly. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing I'm hoping the next game they do is they put custom moves. If they do custom moves, I don't think they will. But if they put custom moves like where you can choose them before the match starts. So you just click a little icon and you just be like, bloop, 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 and then you can go with what yeah. it can it'd be a bit, It'd be a bit more efficient rather than having to make a full loadout. If you just if you yeah, just care about the moves. But I think that's I think they kind of designed this around a little bit more. Yes! Yes, I wonder. Because the 30th, it makes a lot of sense. Same for the Miis, too. But and not so much in the in the Wii version because it's like you don't want to be come to your friend's house and be like hey let me make my custom character real quick <laughs> like, no. yeah yeah okay All right, well next question mm -hmm. um what is the name of Sakurai's cat and the origin of its name bonus point <laughs> whose cat does Sakurai cat share a birthday with <laughs> Good luck, whatever uh, is it like Fuka or Futa or something Fukura yeah yep yeah. Fukura. And, um, okay, what's the origin of its name? No one knows? That's that's right, no one knows. Sakurai yes! refuses to really? Really? say <laughs> the origin of his cat's name. Wow. Whatever, okay. And, um, I'll never... who's, uh, it's like, you know what? Okay, go whose, on, cat, go. whose cat does it share a birthday with? The cat in the brawl. Picture. No, no, no one Your knows cat. who the cat is. Keyboard cat. No. It's uh um, Kojima's cat? Zombie cat? It's actually Mas uh, Masuda's cat, Kiki. Okay. So the creator according, of Pokemon. According to the Game Facts SSB Wikia, um, the Sakurai's cat actually had a role in developing Super Mario Maker and uh <laughs> it's Yeah, actually uh, I think that page is linked to Source Gaiman, the article that I did on Sakurai's cat. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> By the way, What's gonna happen is it's gonna be at Sakurai. You're gonna go to a picture of Sakurai's bedroom uh, at his last moments, and he lies in the bed. He says pineapples and drops something on the floor. That will then reveal the origin of the castle. What? That preceding movie. It's <laughs> okay. This okay. isn't game. I don't know. This isn't game. Thank you. It's all good. Yeah. Um. You know that his cat was tweeted out. Uh. One picture of his cat, the one that was reaching under the bathroom door. That was retweeted more than Lucas's reveal. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Sakurai's cat is more popular than Lucas being as DLC. There you Priorities. go. It, it was, it, like, he actually, I, he actually, like, wrote about that picture, I think, in one of his columns. He was like, yeah, uh, like, that, that picture became, like, uh, what is it, like a meme. A meme. Yeah, meme. <laughs> <laughs> of the um, Japanese cat, where it's got his arms stuck. Yeah, yeah, him. I saw that. That's yeah. cute. The new meme. No, no cat. I'm not putting Daisy in Smash Brothers. No cat. Stop it. So Sakurai, Sakurai owns a giant E tank from Mega Man. What is yeah. it? Is it a, like a trash can? Yeah, um, I don't know what it is, but like, he used to tweet a lot more. Uh, Sakurai, but then like people kept on harassing him on Twitter. Us, I, us kind of people. And like he was just like, I'm, I'm done with Twitter. <laughs> like if you look at like his Twitter account, he really hasn't tweeted that much since Smash has ended, which is kind of unusual since he's on vacation and everything, or whatever. Maybe he's still on vacation. We don't know. We'll never know. I want to repeat this picture of my cat so bad. <laughs> Smash Bros. fans are gonna get a hold of it. They're like cat confirmed for Smash. <laughs> oh my god. No cat. I'm not gonna add that to Smash. This is a terrible idea. No cat. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Alright. Next question. Next question. When was Smash 64's project proposal finished? Um. Wasn't it. No, wait, is this with the actual Smash characters or not? Like with the uh, no, not, not the characters. original proposal. So, no. It didn't June have the. It didn't have the. 19... June 1997? Nope, you're too late. Ah. I feel like Soma's the other person who should know this. Yeah, like, I, I think it was Soma, 
Massman and myself, we worked on this translation. Like summer 1995? 96? It was, it was 96 October. Oh, wow. Oh, October. I thought October was when it had the actual characters. Was that October 1997? No, I believe that was later. Um, I'll have to work on a timeline for Smash 64 someday. <laughs> but yeah, I believe that was later. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, and then, going off of that, what was the other game Sakurai proposed along with Smash 64? Melee? No. Was <laughs> 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 it a Kirby game? <laughs> uh, sorry, someone? It's like an action RPG, right? It's yeah. Like... Yeah, it was an action adventure game. Action adventure. Oh. I didn't know that. It was Fire Emblem Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I believe, uh, Soma, I think you did this one with uh, Itoi, uh, in interview, where he talks about like he proposed these two ideas to Nintendo, yeah. uh, to Hal, or I think it was only Hal at that point, and they're like, oh, you should do this fighting game. Because it would be an easier development. They could finish it within a year or something like that. And that's how Smash was created. Black yeah. Dragon Hogers. Exactly. By the way, one of the crazy facts, like, how it used to be owned by Nintendo, and it was in their, like, financials from 20, oh, 2001. What? Somehow it's it's fallen off, and I don't know what happened to how. Like, they're, they're, like, to they're like, it. making, like, Kirby merchandise like crazy lately. Have they been? Yeah, like, um, you know, the, they have the Kirby Cafe, of course, oh, and yeah. then um, they have um, the Kirby Museum coming out next month. Kirby Museum? Wow. Yep, Ooh. it's it's going to um, have a bunch of Kirby merchandise th from throughout the years, oh, okay. and so it's, it's a limited uh, exhibition. Are they only making Box Boy these days? And no, then, yeah, well, they made um, Box, Box Boy, Boy and um, that, that puzzle game. Uh, oh, they do um, Picross 3D yeah, as Yeah, Picross, yeah. Picross 3D as hell, I mean, they, Which they the second one should be coming out soon for Europe, I hope. Box oh, Boy I guess they Smash. made Robobot too, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Kirby, Box Boy, Picross 3D. And I think that's it for now. Yeah. yeah. How releases their newest game? Melee. Kirby, Kirby <laughs> X Box Boy. Great. So, uh, next... Two might be even too difficult for everyone. Um, what gameplay system had to be redesigned in both Smash for Wii U and 3DS for you? Wait, combo system? The, system? the control system for Wii U? Yeah, no, just for just for you. Yeah. What had to be redesigned? Uh, isn't it like hit stun or hit lag or something? Nope. The entire oh, 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 turning backwards, turning backwards. Yes, of the yes, yeah, that's right, uh, Spazzy. Command inputs. Hey. Yeah. All right. So, um, so... not not turning backwards when you hit back. Yep, so that you can actually do the... I, I God, I don't remember the name of the Red Hadouken. Uh... It's Fire Hadouken. Oh, it's got yeah, I don't think it's actually... It, yeah. is, it, is it just Shin Hadouken? No, it's not. It's it's the shotgun. It's, like sh it's shotgun. It's not again. It. Okay. Shotgun. Okay. It. So is that was it only changed just for Ryu? Just curious. Was that only changed just for Ryu, or is it changed for every character? It was changed for ev like it had to be changed for everyone. Like they had to. It was a gameplay. Um, it was a core system thing that they had to update. It doesn't fundamentally change the way you play it, but they had to rework it so yeah. it would work differently for Ryu. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, uh, okay, so it feels the that's why. That's why I really noticed it. I was like, did it really change something? Interesting. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah, and then also, this one this one, and the next one both come from that Nintendo Dream interview. So, uh, why did Sakurai go with Mega Mewtwo Y instead of Mega Mewtwo X? Because it would betray his more psychic um, like image that um, he was trying to portray on Mewtwo. Yeah. Uh, Mewtwo X seems all buff and uh, more physical than uh, Mega Mewtwo Y. That's exactly was... correct. Uh, oh, nice. X hey. clashed with his okay. design philosophy of Mewtwo, as Mega Mewtwo X is about physical attacks. Oh, yeah. Great job, Epic. Um, <laughs> I was like, he was on point with that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he he, he, should've, he really should have done the um. You should have done the trivia, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. Which was good. Like I, I thought, like you were all like you were like not thinking it wasn't gonna be fair, and actually came up to be a tie. And Ash got a lot of them too. Like Ash was like on point with a lot of these. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was really surprised by that. Every pick of the if you had more pick of the day, he would have won because he got every <laughs> pick of the day right. Yeah. Yeah. He knew that in the back of his hand. I don't. Re- I don't remember those ones. So uh, the next one comes from the interview that we just did. So Spazzy, stay quiet. What was uh, <laughs> Dean Harrington's inspiration for his voice in Melee? Circuses. Yep. Circus ring Circus announcer. announcer. Yep. Interesting. I listened to that interview twice. It's <laughs> a good interview. <laughs> it was. Yeah, there's there's some comments on YouTube like, oh, it's more of a discussion, but you know that's because um, we wrote out the questions like we didn't get to ask yeah. half of them. <laughs> yeah, he would just he was just going through and answering all of our questions like without us even asking them. <laughs> it I, felt more like interesting and natural that way. Yeah, so I mean, it was great though because he 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 answered everything that we asked him basically. Anyway, um, the last one is. Why did Sakurai pass on the Urban Champion as a retro rep for Melee? Because of the thing that people say about Little Mac. No. <laughs> was he like just he did, all he did was punch and kick? Like he didn't have anything interesting to him? He doesn't kick. He just punches. Um. Oh, no, sorry, he just punches. I'll, I'll give that to you, Smash Two. Yeah. It, he said it seems like he doesn't have a lot of moves. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yes, I, I I believe I was right when I said because of the thing that people say about Little Mac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll, okay, Spassy. Yes. <laughs> There's some really hard ones in there. Like we like you did the shit trivia. Yeah, you you went overboard with the cat. I have to say. That was... <laughs> that, I I do love that. that the cat was the back, Legend Card Boy. <laughs> Urban Champion is the greatest. 3D, ur- 3D Urban Champion just adds another layer to moving backwards and forwards and not falling into manholes. And I do, like I do love the concept. Falling under head. I do love the, the thing about, like, I feel like Urban Champion does represent Nintendo, because it's like, like the kind of game they'd make. It's like, you fight, but you try and knock people into manholes, people drop flower pots, and the cops come. Like, it's all this random shit. <laughs> it just kind of happens. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, personally, I know we're we're pretty much done, anyways. But I I actually do need to leave now. Um, okay. And a pleasure as always. Right, cool. Awesome. Thanks all of the fans out there for supporting us, and you know all the guests for being here and all that. You guys have fun finishing up what you're doing. Later. Right, yeah. so I'm, gonna ju- I'm gonna jump on this leaving bandwagon as well because it's 20 to 3 in the morning here. So oh, okay. <laughs> I should probably go to bed. So I'm also gonna jump out. It's a very it was a really fun stream. I've got a to do a quiz again another time because I really enjoyed it. Okay, yeah, that means we gotta, means we gotta translate more stuff because we gotta get more questions. <laughs> oh, we have a lot more questions. I think both of us. Oh, I have a lot more questions. I had like I had like a list of a hundred, but then Xander was like, "That's that's come on, dude." Yeah. Anyway, yeah, right, I'm gonna, I'm jumping out now. It was uh, thanks for coming, um, Omni. By the way. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And um, yeah, before I forget, uh, special wait. thanks to Nerbion for making all the Steam graphics. And um, also IntelliHeath for helping out with the trivia questions. Sure. So. Were there any other questions from no. the chat? We didn't get like, that many. Um, I didn't see any uh, extra questions. I mean, you can always ask um, from Twitter. But I, a little yeah. late now. Kind of yeah. We dropped the ball on that one. They want to know about all of our wonderful future upcoming projects that we are working on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I think um, the stream is about finished, so uh, thank you yeah. again Artsy Omni and everyone. No problem. Thanks again for having me. Yeah. Inviting me. Very kind of you. Yeah. Man, it, it was a pleasure having you on, and plus planning, uh, spamming a bunch of memes in the the chat too. Your memes. I actually did not. I did not see the chat. I did not see the chat. But it's it's been awesome. It was awesome to get so many awesome people here. So yeah, it's good. It's good to have you on me. You'll still. Your hair will always be better than Etika's. I'll never, oh. be able to I'll never be able to top you. I better keep it up then. <laughs> no man. <laughs> yeah. No can. I'm not gonna put that into Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Yo, so we'll go away, eat your food. I'm sorry, I had a great silence. <laughs> so, actually, I do have one final question for Artsy. Just one more. Alright. Did, did you always did you always shudder in the corner every time someone like talked about a leap that you did? 
during this entire stream? Did, did you just, uh, like, okay, okay, they're talking about me. I'm just going to go hide in the corner until everything's nah, done. Well, I've only done, like, <laughs> two, right? And Klonoa lasted, like, 30 minutes <laughs> before it was debunked. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Klonoa, Klonoa would have been way better. I was I was hoping Klonoa was going to happen. Also, I liked Pytana, so I'm like, oh, Pytana, that's awesome. I like that. that. And Klonoa's like, oh, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty much like super down with anybody mentioning anything that I've done, especially the Raymond League. Like most people, while I was at SmashCon, like a lot of people came to our table and was like, I was mad at you for a long time, but I'm okay now. So <laughs> there doesn't seem to be many people who are still like legitimately mad at me or anything like that. So I'm. And there's there's got to be one guy. I, I feel like there is somebody out there. Big Smash Bros. fans. There's yeah. this one guy. He is fuming in his dark room. He's like, "How dare he? <laughs> How dare he insult my precious?" Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry. All right, All right then. All right. <laughs> let's, let's leave I before do, actually, Smash Two just ex explodes. <laughs> I, I have one last question. I have one last question. I'm finish this, and this is for Push actually. Okay. I am curious, just because I've I, I've been thinking about this, and I wanted to get your what you thought. Who do you think is actually going to be in the next Smash Bros? It, 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 either either enhanced port, full game, whatever. Um, I think definitely Inkling, uh, is, mm -hmm. and then um, King K. Roll. I think will have a really good shot, just because um, he's popular in basically all of the regions. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's more of a hardcore character, and like I said from the I think I said almost from the, not from the very beginning, but, um, you know, that I could always see King K. Rool being revealed as, like, the initial batch. Because, okay. um, he appeals to the hardcore community more so than, um, the kind of casual community. True. And then, um, after that, maybe, like, Takamaru, just because, uh, Takamaru has been considered a bunch of times, and Sakurai does like working with the voice actor. Um. Besides that, like, who knows? Like, there's some good guesses we can get here and there, but mm -hmm. for third yeah. party, I think Bomberman is up there. You think Bomberman really? I I really think yeah, I think Bomberman would probably be like the number three. See, the only we'll reason I like Bomberman is so he's, he's like not against Bomberman. I love Bomberman, but I feel like I don't know. He just didn't seem as important anymore. The one, the one I was. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. The one I've been looking oh. at is Monster Hunter is because I again I, like I don't that, I don't like, think Monster like, Hunter is is like that recognizable as itself. I think it would be a great stage, um, great or oh, great assist trophy, okay. or works as a costume, but it doesn't really work as a character per se. Yeah. Uh, so I um, think it'll really just boil down to like what happens with Konami in the next four or five years. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that could change a lot. They're in such I know. I know there right was. I know That's there was true. a rumor going around that they were involved with the uh, Yakuza. Yeah, I saw that. that. That was yesterday I think or something. That. Like, um, basically, like they're the trying one. to. Um, I forgot what the word, but they're trying to leak out money, without making it apparent that they're leaking out money. So they're spending like huge mm. amounts of money on like um, projects and stuff like that and stuff that they know won't be. Profitable, so they can eventually just shut down the, the company. Oh, money laundering. Yeah, yeah money laundering. There you go. Mm -hmm. But it's, so this is they put a bunch of money in the kind of so you can launder it out. I mean, that's kind of what you do. But I mean, but like hey. it's it's just a rumor that some guy on some blog made that. Uh, I mean, I, if it, I mean, if it is true, at least you know sell off their IPs to some other company that'll use them. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they, yeah, they they have a huge catalog of IPs that uh, they aren't really using right now, other than Pushinko, obviously. So well, oh, I think oh. other companies. I, I should say that, ahead. of course, um, Sun and Moon Pokemon for the next Smash. Um, probably Roulette. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Probably Roulette's final form. True. And he seems positive. Uh, the one character I'm gonna add. The one 